right, welcome back, everyone. This is TNP with uh, with Near Automata, hosted by Mister A and uh, and, and co-hosted by X Death as usual. Sometimes we swap roles. Um, we're back with uh, with with I think we started nine S's playthrough, the second playthrough after getting ending A with two B. Um, and uh, 2B is the, the fighty girl, and 9S is the, the hacker boy. So we're playing as the hacker boy. Same, looks like the same story, but from the other perspective. Um, and last time we ended, we, um, we finished the amusement park, and then went to Pascal's village, and then did uh, some side quest roundup for the last bit of the, of the session. So today we'll, we'll jump back in um, and, and keep going with the main plot. See, uh, see how far we get. I think we'll be doing a bit, little bit of a shorter stream today. Uh, do three hours because I, I gotta stop at eight, but we'll we'll see how far we get here. Yep. That's right, and that's how how things kind of ended. And then to be, uh, 9S was infected with some kind of machine virus, and uh, to be uh, killed him by choking him. Yes, she said it always ends like this. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's fine now. It, I don't know why it was muted. Okay, oh, it should be fine now. Tell me if it's not. Uh, okay, let me... Yeah, this is better, I think. Yeah, it is fixed. Could we have a Discord stream as well? Yes, uh, we can. Hold on, let me uh, adjust the levels, though, because they're off. Well, you see, you're, you're at least doing better than me, because I realized from the VOD after last stream we did that I had my mic muted on OBS for literally the entire fucking stream. <laughs> Oh, and Fire Emblem? Yes. Oh, no. So that whole stream, that whole vault is just you talk. Oh, no. Cool. Yeah. Well, I have a save state that's at where we started last time, so I think next time we play Fire Emblem, we'll just pick up from there and, it, and yeah. scrap the old recording. That's fine. I don't know about trying to dub my own voice back in, but that was really tedious. Yeah, fuck <laughs> and that. not worth it. Okay, I just changed the levels and they're good. I just want to check that real quick. All right, sorry, audio yes. issues as always. Uh, back, but less than last time. <laughs> so, and the stream yeah. looks okay, so I'm good. Um, yeah. Anyway, I was just saying. Yeah. Um, the I got oh, I put the Discord stream up. I think for you. Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. And um, yep, that's kind of how things ended. And then um, they went back to the bunker to prepare for the final invasion. Before that. We're gonna see how things went from 9s's standpoint. So, um, yes. Well, so far from 9s's standpoint, we've seen that um, the crazy ballerina was named Simone, and then she had a backstory about uh, wanting to love, wanting to be loved for her beauty, and she started like cannibalizing the other robots and also eating the androids because it was said that that would make her more beautiful. Yes. So she kind of lost her mind, seeking. Um, Impossible to gain recognition from Jean Paul. Yes. The, the philosophy bot who we found out was named after, of course, the noted French philosopher Jean Paul Sartre. Yes. And uh, Simone, therefore, is named after Simone de Beauvoir. Beauvoir. Yes. Sorry. Yes. And we, we found and, out that uh, uh, Yoko Taro has a very low opinion of Sartre, it would seem. Yes. <laughs> Jean Paul's role seems to be specifically to take pot shots at Sartre's nonsensical philosophy. Yes. And in fact, looking into it more, I realized that the um, robots in this game in general have a like European philosopher's naming system for them. So we True. also saw with Marx and Engels, of course, mm -hmm. and Pascal being another example. And if you look up the other names of the robots, um, they're all named after philosophers as well. I'll quickly look them up. Like, the baby is named after one. Um, well, I don't find out about him, but actually the game has an in-game um, encyclopedia. We might be able to even see some of their names. 
Uh, yes. That'd be good. There's, uh, there's Father Servo. That's not a philosopher. Hey, we don't know very many yet, but... Uh, it's okay. just the main enemies and bosses, mostly. They have this, uh, philosopher naming system. Yeah, yeah. For the machine life forms, of course, they're called. Oh yeah, you missed this cutscene. Let's let's rewatch it for you, so you don't miss anything. Oh, okay. Uh, I forgot well, you could rewatch any cutscene. I'll see it when I go back to the vod to um do the chapters. True, very true. The machine called them This 9s's voice. Huh? I never. Maybe I never like thought about it. It's just the narrator, but it might be 9s. Kind of sounds like him. Yeah, it does. That was. Uh, it is 9s seeing these. Uh... One's a plant. Right, I'm just mm -hmm. making my way back to where the main quest is. I don't have fast travel. It was kind of stupid of me to do the side quest this is without fast travel. Sort of the other notable change of the story with respect to 9s's route is that we see these little robot myths or whatever they are yeah. once in a while. It just seem like retellings or like tellings of their history or myths. It's interesting but i think it's you know my Which, theory uh, is is like it's pointing towards them having developed a culture and a mythology and this is them th their telling of their history although we know their true history is uh they're just war machines but could they be more could the androids be more than also war machines we'll find out not today yeah so angles is the big robot that killed us at the start of the game, and his arm is Mark's. Oh, so the other way probably... around. Okay. That yes. So that's probably deep commentary on how Marx was just piggybacking off of Engel's hard work coming up with philosophy, yes, I guess. apparently. Apparently. Okay. And of course we have Adam and Eve, that's from the Bible. So not, not named after philosophers, no, really. No. Uh, there's Emmanuel, which I think is the um, baby, and that's named for Emmanuel Kant, of course. Okay. Uh, not really sure what the significance of having the baby is. The baby name, the name that is. Yeah, I didn't. Even, I don't. I was even thinking think it I would be appropriate to name the baby Locke because John Locke was the one who came up with the tabula rasa idea. Oh yes. So that would kind of be suitable for a baby. That makes sense. But he's named Emmanuel instead after Emmanuel Kant, the Prussian philosopher. And there's also Kierkegaard, which uh, let me let me go into the wiki and see who that is, like what robot that is. I think it's the Circle Boss or something. But he's named Kierkegaard. I mean Hegel as well. What's the big machine in the in the water? I don't have a philosopher name. I don't. Th I don't know. I'll try to look it. Well, up. we'll find out, but. Uh... It might not actually. That might be like story relevant. Then it doesn't. So we'll see. Kierkegaard is um, the priest whose head rolls off, okay. and Hegel is the spider-like um, Goliath class. Okay, the one that is the character. It's just a big spider. Lost or not lost? Quests that I guess we just didn't do last time because we can't redo side quests. The most popular page on the near wiki is Kaine right now. <laughs> yeah, it is. I think it's 2B after that and then A2 after that. So, yeah, all, uh, that, uh, all the waifu <laughs> machine. Yeah, all the waifus. <laughs> Have we talked to anyone else? That... Oh, and then after that it's Twink near. So, uh, oh, okay. There you go. It's near and then a parentheses brother. Right, not father near. Yes, near of near gestalt as opposed to the near of near replicant. Yes, which yeah. was the better one, the father, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Gestalt, according to most accounts, it's important that you play that version. Based on my knowledge of the story, I wouldn't say important, but better is fair. Although you know, is Crucial playing a game method. ever important? What's that noise? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's very philosophical. We've detected a Goliath class enemy inside the city ruins. It seems I think sometimes the game can give someone the um, inspiration the they need to, to continue on in life. A Goliath? Sure, that's true. This was a trap. Leisure is important, I think. I promise you, we were 
Oh, that lock is a weakened bandage. Yet. Maybe it's like combo up to death. Oh, wait, no, there's something in there. Maybe I killed a machine. Oh, shit. That's yeah, so what you know, well, food is, or well, it's like food is the sustenance of the body, beauty is the sustenance of the soul. Right. So ga yes. games can provide that. Man cannot live on bread alone. Exactly. Which is truly frictionally speaking as well. We're going back to oh yeah, this is where the there's an earthquake and some machines pop up. Fuck them up. Okay, the big fish thing is named Groon. I don't know what uh, that's a reference yeah, to. I remember that. It might just be it might not be named after philosopher because it's uh it's a child. Actually. Operator 210 here. So it's true, baby, but that hasn't stopped him from being That's yeah, true, all right, yeah, that's fair, that's news. fair. Bad first. We've confirmed the presence of moose. two Goliath class heavy weapon enemies. Give me moose. It's moose? scared on the wall. There's no notes on why it's called Doom in the notes the section on the wiki, so fucking you knows. Command has modified a firing unit based on this new intel. It's been installed on a pair of flight units that are heading your way. It's your heart. I would, uh... Take the interpretation at the moment, not knowing these philosophers very well, and also that um, these out. references are mostly just kind of thrown in there for the hell of it. I think so. I think the the important part, or like the part that's relevant, is that it's um, it is referencing philosophers, but which ones specifically uh -huh. are assigned to which robot robotic chassis are not that important, except for uh, uh, Jean Paul, who is clearly yes. a lamp, very clearly a lamp in Star Trek. I think. Like Marx and Engels, it's that's like a factory machine. So that's like that's the reference there. They seize the means of production. Yeah, yeah they are sense. the means of production. <laughs> and uh, uh, I don't know about the others. I've, I'm not uh, that well versed on a lot of those philosophers mm, anyway. Yeah, no. I can't really say very much about what they have and haven't come up with. The flight units should be on the roof of that building up ahead. It'll be dangerous. But we're not going anywhere unless we pass through that Goliath's legs. We should be careful. Seem to be that challenging. Also, we've done it before. Would you have noticed to me? I mean, I don't remember, but I thought to, like we were a pair already at this point, but I only see 9S. Oh, no, there she, she is. Be. She's really far. <laughs> okay. It's like I haven't seen her all, all game, but she's just been lagging behind. Okay. Never mind. Who is he talking to? That's right, because we just finished the amusement park and they were together. Right. It's too fast. I guess I never gave a shit if 9S was following me because I, I don't care about him. He's not a waifu. Exactly. And now it's yeah. like, oh shit, I missed 2B. Where is she? Alright. 9S only gets like. Um a little bit of his underwear exposed when he self-destructs versus 2B who has it very much yeah, more in this like granny thong or, or some kind of yeah whereas 9S still has the long shirt thing going so you can't oh, even sure, really tell yeah yeah, Damn it. <laughs> yeah angles yeah, there he is again he's currently working on the um, that one's dead, but, yeah. labor theory of value I think <laughs> <laughs> yes. that's what I'm noticing I can... Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Easily, in fact. It was a pretty easy hack. Yeah, I also didn't do much. Yeah, if I were doing rate the hack, I'd only rate that hack a 2 out of 10. Yeah. Well, I guess if it's not gonna do much, it should at least be easy. It's exactly. Be really yeah. hard, and then also not too much. That would be the worst. Yes, the worst. Could I, maybe I put on some chips that make me do more hacking damage while I I'm forced to play in my Yeah, Yes, so I was gonna ask. Do you think the game would be made better or worse if my story were just taken out? I think for the story, I don't know, it's it's never never deliberate that they're rehashing the same thing but giving you a new perspective. Um, I think it is kind of cool to yeah. go through the same story events but get some new information. I just wish I, I don't know if it really is just, more. yeah, I don't, I don't know if it really justifies doing the whole story over again and also with a work weaker gameplay Yeah, make style. it OP, like who cares, just make it a story mode. 
Yeah. It's fun. It doesn't stand out to me, like, especially. I mean, I, 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 I did enjoy like, learning this, the story stuff, where the story, like, really picks in more of what you're in, uh... I think the main C's. concern with adding this is that it might cause certain players to quit before um, yeah. getting to A2 story, but, you know, it's a Yoko Taro game, so it's supposed to have aspects that are able to alienate people for the sake of its artistic Right, it's, it's exactly. That's, that's very normal. style. Yeah, for him, so... You don't want to play it? Fine. Fuck you. <laughs> Yes, and you were saying on the last stream that you kind of felt that both 2B and 9S's stories are just a sort of prelude to the real game, which is A2's story. And that is actually kind of borne out by the structure, because as far as I know, these two only really have one real ending each, and it's only once you get into A2 you get the classic um, multi-ending, like multi-branch story thing going that these games I had going back to Dragon Yard. Yeah, um... But with A2, I think there really are two true endings. Like, the, there's 26 and the vast majority are, are just gag endings. Yeah, that's the one that we've seen, the most, yeah. the extra endings we've seen so far are literally one line of text on a black screen yeah. and a sped up credit roll. Yep. I think that there are four endings in the game Enemy total. Um, so even A2 has a, has a choice, but um, the total number of, of ending choices is less, but there's, you know, just have more different characters you're playing as, I guess. Sure. Because I think, I don't know about Mirror Replicant, but I know like Drakengard had like five endings, but they were all, yeah. like, they're all, you play as one guy. Drakengard has five endings, I think. Yeah, um, I think two and three also have around that many, but I think Three has at least four. Yeah. Well, both of those also have the tradition that they continued on in this game, but maybe a little less, uh, that there's one really bullshit ending to get, you have to like unlock and upgrade all the weapons to get. Oh yeah. Which you were talking about, but... I found out that in Dragon Guard uh, 1 and 3 at least, and presumably 2 as well, this is like a very substantial ending, so it's not like a black screen and the, uh, one line of text like we got in yeah. this game. It's the ending where you, you cause the, the ending that's based on End of Evangelion in um, Dragon Guard 1 is, right. is the ending. The one that runs into or, this, or into Nier. Yeah. And then the ending that's a, sort of a reference to that from Dragon Guard 3 that I keep bringing up with the, the last oh, yeah. song in it is also the grind your ass off ending of, yeah. of that game. And then homage to the similar ending in the first one mm -hmm. as well. And in this one, the, it's ending Y. Um, it's, it's, I think it's for New Replicant fans because it involves Emil, who is a character from New Replicant. He's one of the party members, or he was. He's very important mm -hmm. to the, that story, but he's, he's a cameo here. And, um, he does have, like, he, there's a few characters that are relevant to, like, the connection between this game and your replicants. So. So it's it's also least... not apparent at all, right? That's, that's something that hasn't even been brought up at all, is that this world is at all related to near replicants. I guess that's kind of a spoiler no. we've been talking about it the whole time, so. There hasn't really been anything in this game so far that make, has made me think, like, oh, I maybe I'd understand this more if I played the first near. No. No, that comes up only in the third playthrough, and even then they kind of explain what's going on. So, I mean, I guess you'd understand it more because you have seen the events already, but... Angles blew up. Angles 2 blew up. Oh yeah, right. That's how the... I forgot that's how the whole whole comes about. Angles is why, as they'd call him in his, um... What the... Homeland. Unbelievable. The aliens who haven't revealed themselves in hundreds of years were hiding underground? Yep, here's the classic hole part. The hole, yep. Every good game has a hole. Cool. Silent Hill 2 has several, so I think that's maybe one of the best games ever made. Yeah. There's a game that came out recently, I think uh, Yahtzee talked about it, which is, this is your made by Silent Hill 2 fans as like an homage, but is just like a Silent Hill 2 again. Um, oh. What it's called. But I'd like to play that, uh, because I I hear it's actually really good, even though it is kind of a... I mean, it's, it's maybe too much of an homage, but uh, I think it is... Uh, it seems like it's usually better 
if it's the fans making like one of these types of games and if it's actually the original creators <laughs> yes. with a better track record. Yeah. Freedom Planet, which is the Sonic version of that, was good, and Sonic Mania, which is a fan game, was good, and uh, Shovel Knight, I guess. And apparently that Mega Man one that was made by fans is better than uh, actual Mega Man. And well, there was that one that was made by, no, Mighty Number no. 9. Mm -hmm. that, I think that sucked. You're not much for plans, are you? Yeah, that's the one that's made by the actual Mega Man. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 right. Right, that's right. I think the Mega Man fan one is 20XX, but I could be... I think wrong. you're right, that's right. We gotta mix it up. And that one's actually, like, supposed to be a lot better. Yep, yep. No, my number nine is, like, really bad. Apparently, yeah. I have not been played it, but, uh... Um, and then... Yes. And then, you know, you have, uh, like, even, even just remakes, like, uh... Um... AM2R, another mm -hmm. Metroid 2 remake, which is really well regarded. They're still working on it. The creators have kept their identity secret enough that Nintendo doesn't know who to send the uh, cease and desist, desist to. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so we have to do it. So destroying. Maybe we should hold on. Right, you can. Uh, there's a. Uh, you can talk to the English. So no once you take them and we might be able to learn something interesting if we study it. Maybe learn lots of interesting things about class conflict. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Let's see. I remember. Dude, activated. Fuck off. Oh, that's why I was hacking the whole time. For this, let's see if I can hack the angles. Maybe I just have to come back here. Maybe I think he might actually literally just turn on on his own later, but yeah, I forgot he has a cool little. He has a backstory. He does. He does. I am, I am out leveled, which means the combat takes them longer. <laughs> there we go. Okay, he was just at the same level at the end of um. When we went on to 9 SF playthrough as well, that we was another thing. Yeah, yeah. We did. We could carry it over. I don't know what the max level is, but I got my other playthrough is at level 50, like having done like done just about everything, so. Yeah. That's a pretty normal level to end that in an RPG. 26 is pretty low, is what we were at when we finished this 2B. Hmm. Okay, he needs a screw. You know, I'm still not sure any of this is a good idea. The more data we have, the better, right? This might actually be the quest that I want to do. It's in a building like this. this specific one. Linus really does have copious amounts of bottom energy, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is... Okay, cool. Good. I'm glad I found... This is the quest, I, I think, the one I kept wanting to do. Resistance member? Yeah. Did we ever finish that photograph one? I think we Ready did. To photograph the Oasis? Either we did or, you know, or we got past the point of no return. <laughs> so... I think we did as 2B, and now we haven't... Well, so yet. 2B and Linus share a lot of quests, and then they have some unique ones. So if we finish it as 2B... Hey, if 9S has it, it's it'll be unique to him, because we won't we, we won't we never do the same quest again. Um, what if we like got halfway through a quest just to be though? Now that um, no, I think it I think it tracks progress. I think I, I think that was what happened with um the photo one. I think you wanted to fix it like finish it, but you were locked into the. I think uh, I was yeah. The robot cannibalism sequence. We'll see it if if either if we haven't finished it, we'll either get it again. Oh, well, it could be unique to 2B, in which case we'll have to do it from chapter select. But I think I got—I think this is the one I want, and I got it confused with the other one because they both involve uh, an android losing her memory. Um, okay, she's on a mission, her friend was killed, and she wants to retrieve her final moments. Okay. Cool. Maybe this is the. No, see, this is this has to be unique to 9S because it has a hacking minigame. So we did the hacking once as 2B and we were fighting uh, some bone. It was kind of random. Uh, 
plant. You're right. But it was. It, I think only 9S can hack. It just like we were able to hack as 9S. Only 9S can initiate it. Yeah. Yeah. B is like she's not trained for this. She's a battle. Yeah. Android right after all. It's hacking is a union job, and you can't. Uh, you're not allowed to. Oh shit. Yeah. That's her. <laughs> That's a good memory. <laughs> Got fucking stabbed. Okay. I hope this doesn't turn into some kind of terrible tragedy because she acted before she had all the information. Oh no, that yeah, that never happens. This is not the type of thing that happens. Kill the game bastard who covered my friend. Ines is like, wait. What? Those disgusting non ray traced shadows. Actually, this game's performance is kind of bad on PCs. True. Ray, ray tracing. We've had problems with the performance already. Well, yeah, well, yeah. That was the. wasn't my PCs. Um. Okay, cool. We got that one. That was, that's all I ever wanted. I guess the Angles quest, I think I remember it being cool because it's a backstory. But let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's just... try to find out Angles' backstory if we can. Yeah, let's optimize this though and see if we can. Uh, yeah, get the fast route away. first. Yeah, we'll program in the fastest stop, the fastest route. Okay. But it's like, I don't know what it is, but the. Okay, this is... okay that's for the Angles. Uh... That's Machine Screw Generation is. 1. Yeah. Um. That's just on the way to the desert. Uh, um, and then that's the Amnesia quest. Let's just look like the new fresh hot press quest. The Amnesia one's really close. And that's the pit. Yeah, it's at the resistance camp. We, we can go there. We can just go like just re unlock fast there. travel and then just fast travel. Yeah, yeah, actually that would be that would be it's nice. Whatever. I don't remember when you get it, but maybe it's after I um the whole Remember it's in like a pit type of area in the desert or something like that. And you keep coming um, out and you go into one of them and it just says like here's the system. It might be just it might be Yeah, well the the I think the pit you're thinking of might be the one in the, in the hole. I think in it's the city. Jackass or whatever shows. Oh it's maybe, maybe what happens in this 2B anyway. Is another resistance member quest. with the quest for us? Oh, yeah, that's not Signal code detected for missing bargaining ship. Marking approximate location. Let's see, I think this camp is yonder. I have my geography correct. I've got a quest from this guy over here. Just pick them all up. Decide which ones to do. What is this? Analysis. It is a cave in caused by the collapse of an open space underground. Why is there such a huge cavern beneath the city? Who knows? Let me talk to the him um, in combat. Fuck you then. All right. Yeah, this camp is this way. No, I guess not. Yeah, past the little pond. So I guess the nine is once we go fight the fish. After that, we're gonna get like uh, captured by Adam, and then after that, we're gonna be recovering until basically yeah. the very end of the game. Right. So the plots will diverge a little more there because it will be seeing things from nine's that perspective. That also means we probably want to wrap up in a side quest before we go fight the fish creature. Yes, that's a good point. Yeah. In fact, that might have been the case for two B. That might have been where things started to get left out. Possibly. 
this is the photograph quest that we yeah we yes. did not finish it. Yes. So. Yes. All right. Oh, that's Classic not the one quest. I thought it was, but we'll still try to help if we're around those areas. Okay, so this quest isn't actually very important then, like it. No, it wasn't the one I, I specifically wanted. No, I wouldn't say the other one is very important, but it has a. Uh, it's like more important than the more important. important. One looks like the desert. Oh, I see. And one looks like the forest. Let's keep our eyes open next time we're in any of those I don't think areas. we actually finished on Paul's quest either. No, we did not. No, there was, there was one. Uh, Lots more, of side quests left. to do if we feel like it. I'll just Presumably, um, A2 doesn't have any of the same side quests as these two, right? Uh, I don't think so. I think uh, all of those are unique. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, we can always come back and do them. I, I, I'll, I'll probably just do ones that are on the way or ones that I remember as being especially interesting. You know, just, you know gotta, leave, gotta leave a reason for people to play this game, you know, not just watch it. I'm gonna make them sad by it. We gotta work as Yokotaro's advertising squad. You know, that does remind me that uh, since I questioned Null's decision not to play anymore in this game, I, I feel I should question your decision not to play the Drakengard series as well. Mainly because, um, based on our Final Fantasy playthroughs, I'm not sure how good of a. Uh, uh, like, how good it, a YouTube video essay is that for actually teaching you about the storylines of a game. I watched a full playthrough of Dragon Guard 1. Oh, okay. Thank That's you very different. much. Um, I just, you know... You said you watched, like, a full series video essay on Final Fantasy, but you, like, didn't know anything about I, any I Final Fantasy. I forgot everything, but it was a very brief <laughs> summary. And, and I, you know, I had it on, like, in the background when I was doing other shit. I did the same thing for Dragon Guard, and I, like... I know, like, plot points, there's a girl with a flower in her eye. Yeah, but well, you couldn't remember <laughs> why the girl had the flower in her eye. I remember why, something. because, I, well, I, I, something to do with, the flower is evil and she put it there so she could get back at her sisters and destroy them all. Why she wants to do that, I don't remember. Uh, but I remember why the flower is there, and she has a dragon friend, um, otherwise it wouldn't be a dragon, dragoon uh, game. Yeah. Um... I, the thing about this game is, like, it's very... It was highly praised, like, universally. And so I thought I'd check it out, and I enjoyed it. Dragon Guard is kind of considered to be, like... Very mixed reception. Very mixed you reception. Very critical yeah. scores. And even this game is, like, it's fun. I, there's a lot of things I like about it, but I feel like the level of quality, at least my understanding of that, is that it's much higher than Dragon Guard. And, like, the combat is... I think they're not much amazing, more but still a lot more fun than Dragon Guard series, yeah. yes, or even near first one, which also have a, a lot of design problems that can turn people off. Yeah, and I feel like from what I've heard of people who played it, it's like the things that are unique about them are almost entirely the the weird stories, um, and so that's yeah. why I chose to just experience the story or at least a summary of it just to get an idea. Mostly to, to help my understanding of this game, or not even like understanding, but see if there's any like old. Hood was a gift of some sort. Uh, I think the last song sequence from Dragon Guard 3 is actually a good example of that, where it's, it's quite um, captivating to watch as a YouTube video, but apparently it's just a fucking nightmare to actually play the, a sequence in a video game. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to even enjoy the music or the eerie visuals because you just keep fucking dying from the bullshit game design of that part. Yeah. yeah. And I do understand that at um, Dragon Guard 1 in particular, that the gameplay is pretty much complete dog shit. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it might get better in the subsequent ones, but I don't know if I have much. Right, exactly. I think that the, you, like, it doesn't get, the games don't get really notable until near, and even then, it was still like a really niche uh, thing. And near Autonomous. Well, I think they were all. Game probably interesting to play as weird games made sure. by a Japanese auteur creator. Fair. But, uh, I'm, I guess it's up to the individual's p level of patience whether that's worth suffering through some fairly shitty game design. Um, we did miss a, a funny little conversation between 9S and 2B where, uh, uh, 9S posit or to be posited that uh, it's rude to give someone something that uh, without them asking for it because what if they don't want it? And 9S says, well, it's it's more of the the feeling behind the gift than the actual item. And uh, to be of course reminds him that feelings are prohibited. So 
she got him there. That's classic to me. Still can't talk to the wise machine. We'll never learn his wisdom, but let's just mm -hmm. continue on and yeah, go into the hole and get that we'll fast be throw. able to uh, enemy. critique his witticisms. Yeah. That's something that we now have to redo is the um, looks pretty codification oh, no. of, of witticism critique as a concept. Okay. That was that was lost. And your uh, Digimon review. Yeah, we probably don't need to redo that one. Okay. We agreed it was good. I think that was the Yeah, it's not interesting if it's good. It's only interesting if it's dog shit. Yeah. Can you write can you purposefully write uh, we'll cut this out of the VOD. Purposely write a, a bad review just for the for sake of a I probably could do <laughs> Get the two of us and you some drafts. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say something similar. I was gonna say just copy Cthulhu's style. Yeah. Just break it down into sections and be like, the music's good. And like I have fucking nothing to say with the music <laughs> yeah. in the anime. What is it? I don't know. There's nothing like it in the database. Alright, we're here again. This place is cool. I, I kind of wish that this was more fleshed out instead of just like one room. This is really short. Yeah. We just kind of show up and then Adam and Eve are there and they fight us. Yep. But yeah, that okay. was another thing we saw with uh, Minus that wasn't uh, in two This was the Adam and Eve talking about underwear. Yes, that's right. You get their little Look. character development. And kind of that Adam Look. was actually just reading the Bible and getting all of his values from that, which yeah. explains why he's such a psychopath. I think. <laughs> the graveyard of our creators. Graveyard of broken earth. Hello, boys. You can see, uh, Eve's already got the tat the arm tattoo guy. So yeah. yeah. Whereas Adam, uh, Look out. doesn't have the more straight legs. The aliens you he goes first yeah. later on while Eve they continues to just be shirtless. Yeah. By People are dying, uh, before our very the eyes. <laughs> Those two corpses <laughs> just appear. <And> who knows? <laughs> Perhaps we'll wipe out I also like 9S's, and like, pointing out the obvious. Capable of evolution. It's been like we 10 seconds roll. since they showed up. To be, look out! Oh yeah, thanks. What kind of visual role in the game? Yeah. So this, in this fight, the um, 2D, pseudo 2D uh, perspective is used to forcibly separate you from your support character, whether that be 2 Yeah, each one of us gets a uh, an android or uh, a machine to fight, I guess or not. Were we fighting E at this part when we were 2D? I can't remember, but I would guess yes, based on... This. They held no yeah, but, so, but yeah. I remember that we were in the foreground like this, then I was going to ask in the background. Why that? You don't want to be in the background, because then, uh, just for mm -hmm. the visual they standpoint, you get covered up by your own character. Mm -hmm. Which Yoko Taro might have I was going to say, normally, people, but, you know, normally I would think Yoko Taro would do that. But, uh, so yeah. You might have tried, they were like, can we, can we make the game a little fun? <laughs> yes, maybe that is why this has not been critically reason yet. The Dragon Guard 3, the final boss, actually does it and like, fucking zooms the camera all over the place where you're trying to see what notes to hit. That would make me so angry. <laughs> yeah. Apparently a lot of people just like close their eyes to play and play by ear and oh, yes, trying to look at the yeah. 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 Surely you see the attraction of this. Are you insane? We'd never do that! Can you believe this to be? We did have one example of deliberately horrible fucking game wrangles in a similar fight. Uh, yeah, there was like, well, it wasn't like too bad, it was just meant to give no. you less reaction time for the, uh, It wasn't nearly as bad as the near three thing. Yeah, it was very intentional and not egregious, but yeah, it was, it was not an ideal angle. So you've watched the full playthrough of Nier 1, and then what, what's your exposure to Nier, or Dragon Guard 1, rather, and what's your exposure to Dragon Guard 2 and 3, then? Remember, I think I think I, I was like I maybe I tried started to watch full playthroughs and I kind of just like got bored and moved on to something else. Um, I I know that three is the more well regarded one. So I would was that a hey oh did you see that there was a fucking hologram girl in a red dress standing there. I never oh, noticed wow. that before. Sorry, the red dress girls are apparently an important thing in the game. Yeah, what the fuck? I mean, I know who that is actually, having played the game, but I never noticed she was here. That's really cool. All right, we'll talk anymore about her though. Um, anyway, yeah, I think Dragon Guard Three is the more well-regarded one, so I wanted to like maybe it's skip two and then watch three, and then go back to two. Dragon Guard Two, three, and then two, yeah. 
because two is like more disconnected from the other games and like less good is, is my understanding so it's like you know i would be more interested in watching it in watching three which i might i might do maybe that's my actually yeah, guard one is pretty non-good to be gaming with so yes yeah. interested in two i don't know if two is worse but i think two is maybe less interesting story-wise could be anyway i'll mark the positional data on the map I just remember three is okay. This is where we get. Yeah, hey, it is Jackass. You're right. You again. Your commander yeah. told me to build this a new access point. Happen, actually, so. the story. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was after this because I, yeah, I think it was yeah to get out of the pit, even though it is our ladder. But no, I've known the fine. commander for a while now. She sure is good at calming work off on people. This game doesn't have a good theme song to play. Yeah. So this has a transporter now, huh? Still, transporters are pretty handy. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. That's, flight units that's also right, man. That's to attack, and they're expensive to operate too. That's very interesting. He's the nerdy exposition kid of the of the two. Yeah. All right, now we have fast travel, and actually, I think we want to go back to the to uh, the bunker. Um, yeah, but I, I maybe I'll watch uh, uh, Wrecking Guard Three. You're not gonna play it, though. Fuck no. I might. I mean, I'm not like. I just have so many other games. Oh, here's another one of these. I killed my father. I killed my mother. 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 I killed my father. 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 I killed is to gather additional intel on the individual known Is that supposed to have noticeably better mechanics we than Dragon Dra Dra Guard? Because I heard they were pretty rough council. in that game, too. I think, it's, I think it is better, but still rough. But I think the remake might, t might, you know, Understood. make it more like this, which is... This is the remake did review the, significantly better on uh, by critics and everything. Yeah, I, I, uh, so it has to but change the gameplay. I game think play. that could have been because of changing perception of the game. Yeah. I think Commander that was sure part of it, but I, driver, I huh? would be surprised if that was all of it. Oh, there's a quest in here. Good. That's another one with the dog shit title, wasn't it? It's like Nia Replicant Point 2, 1, 7, 9, 6, 3, 5, 5, 5, or some shit like that. Yeah, but the original game is just Nia. So it's yeah. not, I won't evaluate the original game on that, but you are right. Well, we did that with the Digimon Adventure Cold, which is also a, a remake deck thing. Oh, okay, so I didn't know that. So, fine. But that's still that's still stupider. Just the colon. By I think the best way to codify it is to call it silliest titles now. The title ranking. Silliest, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Again, silly is not quite the same thing as like bad or goofy title. Sure. It's like with the looking them hearts example being a good one. I'd say silly and goofy. But close. Silly is the ally of goofy. Um, this is our favorite well, operator. Along with Sora and Donald, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we of course have a crush on her. She just doesn't really care. You're being 9S? Yeah, 9S. Oh, you know, me personally. Was, um. I had a crush on 2B. Yeah. No, that was the. Well, yeah, maybe he just, he just likes any girl that gives him attention. He's a bit of a simp, yeah. <laughs> but no, he definitely, uh, crushes on, uh, the team. operator. I think he I just wants to be to like him. The main thing I'm hoping for from Linus' story is that when he gets choked at the end, we get like a POV shot from his perspective of 2B straddling us and choking us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's see. Yeah, get wrecked. We do want to do quests with uh, the operator as well because she becomes more important later. 
Okay. Fair. So it makes you more attached to her because you spend more time thinking about her, you know, as the player. Not that the quests are necessarily relevant to anything, but... Um, it's just a, a build investment in the operator. Exactly, exactly. You want to... Oh, yeah, let's check our mail. Stop. I did the controller. It, it's like it double clicks always. I have to, like, go back. I don't know why it's so sensitive. All right. Um, yeah, we know about the moon. Schedule correspondence. If you have a problem, respond. If you don't, don't. That seems... It's the opposite. You're supposed to verbally check in, and if you don't check in, there's a problem. <laughs> um, I receive a new shipment this of plug-in ships. Good, uh, military setup. It's not. It's not. Um. Well, now they're like, if you need to, now if you don't have a response, we wouldn't mind if you responded. Get lonely. <laughs> Apparently so. Alright. New mission is to capture and get your hub members. Okay, this is, um... Do not forward this email. It's about, uh, foreshadowing A2, and then... Yes, that's right. Jackass wants us to eat a, uh, fish. Alright. Man, this job can be pretty rough sometimes, huh? We don't get to choose our assignments, and you should work on keeping your opinions in check. Your ha aren't allowed to be emotional, remember? I think some of us are better at that than others. Speaking of emotion, those Adam and Eve units sure seemed less than logical. I'm heading to the transporter. Fine. Me too. <laughs> All right. Uh, we want information about Pascal, so we will go over there. Yes. I think that's our next quest item. So I think I think the f yeah the forest is the last new area we can do without locking out side quests. I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh yes, that's right. That's where we're going next. I think. Yeah, maybe we'll do that, and then we'll do another side quest cleanup and see how far we get with that, and then. Um... Maybe we should do a couple side quests, then the forest, then the side quests, some more side quests, just to sort of space the variety. Around. Yeah. Fine. A of your I think that's a good idea. I think you're right. You oh, rated quite a few titles in the last stream that's now lost. Uh, I, I, I found a couple a, lists. A yeah. lovely listicle of, of great titles. We can we so, can always rehash that. We can even uh, make it faster by skipping the ones that aren't bad titles. I don't know why. Yes, in fact, I've, I've prepared something. <laughs> oh, perfect. Uh, just like that. So somebody, they brought up Tactics Ogre Lies going together, but we kind of um, talked about how that was rendered obsolete by the superior Ogre Battle 64 person of Lordly Calendar, of course. Uh -huh. um, and then I had brought up um, Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days without yep. realizing that that was actually now obsolete by a much goofier title, that being Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Pro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a solid one. <laughs> yeah, and so that's an 8 out of 10 for me. Dialogue. That one is actually quite funny. Yes. Especially when you consider that a final chapter having a prologue is really stupid. Yeah. It's like, isn't that the other chapters? <laughs> <laughs> also the 2.8, because it's just so fucking arbitrary and it's point 0.8. It is, yes. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, uh, real quick in the game, we discovered the meaning of that mysterious lock I couldn't open. The answer is it's part of this quest, and I had already opened it and forgot. Um, so um, machine is behind there. Yeah, he seems. was afraid and didn't want to unlock the door. So uh, no, mystery kind of solved. Yeah. All right. The Go satisfying ahead. resolution that mystery had. Yes. We rescued a sun machine. Okay, we covered uh, a classic title, Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0 thrice upon a time. Yes. I'd say that's another like eight out of ten, probably in that that region. Mm -hmm. Classic fun one. I always get bonus points for use of the word thrice as well. Yeah, classic word. The last, the the last such word on the on the number line. Yes, there's no quadrice. Nope. Two worlds, two. How do you feel about that one? You had mentioned that one. I, it's not too bad. It's just a, it's just unfortunately alliterative. It's uh, a little bit goofy. It is. It? It's goofy, but it's not. It's not abysmal or anything. I'll say it's a six out of ten on the goofiness scale. Sure. That's fair. There's El Shaddai, there's, there's more to that, I forget what it was. Oh yeah, it's like the 
the revenge of the Metatron or something, but those are just all like symbolic terms. Oh yeah, Ascension, there you go. Those are all just like symbolic terms. Oh, I have fun facts about that. We can do that later, but it reminds me. Um, no, go ahead and get, get into but, it now. Well, my dad got into watching this, um, there's a professor that does uh, like lectures uh, and put them up on YouTube about the history of Ukraine, and my dad uh, really enjoyed watching them because it was very different from what he was taught in the Soviet Union. Um, and so like Ukraine, you know, I already knew everything he was telling me from playing, literally from playing Crusader Kings and EU4, uh, which I told him after, but um, like the Ukrainian people generally had a much different, um, you know, history to the Russians. They were under the Lithuanians and um, um, the Poles and, and had more like the governance and culture was more related to those countries than the Russians who were pretty separate and, and actually stayed under the Golden Horde for much longer and that sort of thing. Yeah. So it was only after um, uh, Peter the Great kind of uh, beat up the Lithuanians and took Russia that Russia was part of, or that, that or took Ukraine and that Ukraine was part of Russia. Uh, but before that, they're very different people. But apparently uh, Hasidic Judaism uh, started in Ukraine. And um, okay. the rabbis would write in Hebrew and you know create these writings but people couldn't read very well they you know people you know, maybe were illiterate but they yeah. knew like a few words so they would read the message and they would based on the words that they understood they would like um interpret the secret meaning inside the rest of the message um and th apparently that's how a lot of this like cabalic like oh, mythology was formed like out. out of uh, okay. illiterate people just like pretending to understand uh documents in hebrew <laughs> so, <laughs> makes sense to me yeah, yeah. kind of does a lot I don't of times know. the yeah. wackier parts of religion come from uh, um coalescence of many different traditions yeah after all. um so that you reminded me of that so that's fun but I think I'll watch the, the those lectures. It sounds very it sounds interesting. I like history, and my dad said it's, it's actually pretty pretty well done. So, how anyway. would you rate El Shaddai: Ascension of the Metatron as a goofy title? It's just like, it's not really very goofy if you know what the words mean. It's just an odd title. But but you know, so it kind of just depends on on uh, your your mood, how anti-Semitic you are, really. Maybe a five out of ten. Maybe, <laughs> maybe a five. Because El Shaddai is the name for like God, and then Ascension that Metatron is like the uh, I don't yeah, remember, but it's yeah, it's the angel that speaks for God, I think. So like these are all just like terms that people aren't familiar with, but it's not like it's not actually that goofy of a title, I guess. But, okay. uh, but, but Dangan Mob you know, by another episode, Ultra Despair Girls. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, that one's just like kind of nonsensical in, in a few ways. Um, there's another episode. That's really the best part, yeah. That. Ultra Despair yeah. Girls is silly, but it, it's yeah. kind of like standard Japanese silly. Um, but uh, yeah, another episode is, is good. <laughs> I like that. That's a seven, then. Mm -hmm. Seven is good. Yeah. We haven't read anything like a, a glow of five so far, though. Maybe we need to be a little harsher on some of these. <laughs> okay, well, here's one that could be. Um... Contender then, Mystical Ninja starring Go In Long. Yeah, that one maybe a four. It's silly. To me, uh, this is like a just a slightly slightly rearranged set of words for a normal video game title, which would be like Goemon colon Mystical Ninja. Yeah. Like the fact that it's starring Goemon, which to me is sillier because I have no title. fucking idea who Goemon is and why he would star. He's a anything. figure in uh, Japanese mythology. Oh, okay. So well, there to you Japanese go. people, they know who Goemon sure, is. Sure, it's just not really silly to them, I guess, yeah. I guess. But it's like, it's like uh, you know, The Trials, starring Hercules. You know, it's like, why would you phrase it that way? So it is, it's still a little silly, you know, for, for, for Westerners, you know. But, okay. He was executed by boiling at the age of 36, the real going on. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought you were talking about Hercules, I don't remember that. Or the movie. <laughs> going on, okay, damn. Oh, so it's a real person? Or I thought it was a... Yeah, oh, okay, a historical okay. figure. Cool, cool. He's mo widely become a folk hero, though there's little historical information on his life. And then there's, a, um, you know, as with Oda Nobunaga and many others, there's many different uh, 
Japanese cultural depictions of him, with the Goemon of Mystical Ninja starring Goemon being a, a funny looking little boy. Okay. Uh, you should call him Goemon. Yeah. He and his son were boiled alive. Damn. Oh, so he was Japanese Robin Hood, I see. Basically, yeah. Or Robin Hood was uh, Western Goemon, I guess. One of the two. You're opposed to uh, Mystical Ninja Goemon. For comparison. Wow. <laughs> A large iron kettle shaped bathtub is now called the Goemon Guru. Goemon Bath. That's a bit morbid. Yes. That's what he was boiled in. Alright, well. <laughs> that is a little bit morbid. That's fun. Oh. He became a folk hero and was immortalized after his death, so at least there's that. We got a quest called Idiot Savant, which is very uh, non PC. That's the uh, guy who invented our choice uh, bandana or whatever that we have for the, the animals, right? No, 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 it's a different guy. Sorry, I was like, what? Yeah, no, that's the that's the like professor machine or whatever. Yeah, different he's, savant then. Different. He's not an idiot. He's a he. Well, he's a kind of a failed inventor. Although he invented the the the, the sachet, uh, which yeah, is quite good. Was. So a choice sachet. Yes, one sachet. might even describe it as choice. Yes. I think. Uh, no, I was gonna say sachet is just a sack. But sack is sack <laughs> in French. So. No. Yeah, just without the K. Right. Yeah. Cool de sac is a common uh, feature in American summers. Yes, or sac a dos in French, which is just like a backpack. Oh, yeah, yeah. Back sac. There are a decent number of French expressions that have been adopted into English just in their French forms. Yeah. Like avant-garde. Yep. And, uh, well, in art, of course, especially, yeah. Deja vu. Deja vu, yep. And the opposite of deja vu, which I can't remember, but it is. Jamais vu, yeah. Jamais vu, yes, yes, thank you. Um, yeah. Cold de sac. Cold de sac. Oh, and coup, coup de grasse, yes. which is commonly mispronounced by English yeah, people. Yeah, coup de grasse. I used to call coup, that when I was. Coup de gras. As for people who. That's like the intermediate level of mispronunciation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But if you say coup de grace, it, it, people will correct you. <laughs> yes, they'll uh, incorrectly correct you. <laughs> yeah. Then you can you can flip it on them. Actually, yes. which makes you feel like it's exponentially more superior. <laughs> yes. Well, if you say coup de grace, you know, because you're doing, trying to do the French yeah, R, they, the R, maybe so they'll. Are you okay, sir? They'll respect you yeah. more, and they'll realize. Yeah, that's. They'll respect you. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, okay, this guy's really uh, serious about it. Yeah. Knows who's stuck on it. Your friend is weird. No, I didn't mean to shoot the moose! Fuck. Oh, I gotta delete the save. We'll restart the game. Yeah, I think we should just, like, not play video games anymore. It's <laughs> shame. I did play a, a, a hunting game before, um, not because I have any interest in hunting, but because uh, it has a lot of the gameplay elements I enjoy, uh, like, you know, shooting and stealth and tracking. Um, sure. So I have shot mooses in that game. So, I'm, I'm already too far gone. That's uh, not very nice. No, it wasn't. With the majestic moose, what did it ever do? Well, I mean, we deserve such treatment. They, uh, what do we rate up. Danganronpa Ultra Despair? Oh, right. Uh, a seven? I don't know. That's it's like a yeah, let's solid, say, solid let's seven. Yeah, it's a seven. Yeah. Okay, next title is. Um, actually, wait. Is there anything more to say on hunting game? What hunting oh, game? Oh no, I mean, it? I can talk about it more later. I was, I just meant, you, yeah, I just, I could bring it up again if we want to talk about it more. I didn't mean to uh, start a whole new uh, thing on it yet. Oh no, I have nothing more to say at this time. Dissidia 012 Duo Deck in Final Fantasy. Yeah, I mean, you kind of said that that doesn't really count as Square Enix, but I mean, it is objectively 
pretty well, silly. Just kind of par for the course that they titled it very silly, but that, right. that doesn't diminish the silliness level. No. Right. And it's like, not only, you know, Duodecan is Latin for 12, so it's yeah, like. Yeah, so there's redundancy. It's there's redundancy kind of... that actually confuses the reader more, because many people don't know that. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, uh. Yeah, like, first of all, if you're aware of Final Fantasy, you know that it's a series, so why would that be the subtitle to something called Dissidia? And die, did I fuck? What? That thing hits hard. Yeah, I'm looking at like half of your. Uh... Yeah. So far. Blew all my health items and still killed me the best. I don't even know there what that quest is. I just saw a thing on my map and I went there. I don't even know what I'm doing. What am I fighting there, for? There is a lot to unpack with Dissidia 012, isn't there? Yeah, is it like, did it come out in 012? Is it the 12th Dissidia? It's not the 12th Final There's Fantasy. There's 12 characters in it, I think. Wow, that I wouldn't even guess that. That's a, that's a whole <laughs> other little fucking layer. I die here. So, yeah. And then the other uh, whole uh, O12 Duodecan bracket, Duodecan bracket. Yes, it is in parentheses. It's not in parentheses, it's in brackets, isn't it? It's even weirder. I'm not even sure if it's in either when you. Um, oh, okay. Well, I, I was deceived title. by that, that list, listicle site. Hmm. Technically, Riven isn't even called Riven, the sequel to Mist. It just says the sequel to Mist in really big oh, letters on the title. Wow. But I choose oh, to you believe. You me. Yeah, it is funnier that way, so fair I enough. choose to believe that the title... Oh yeah, I guess in this logo here, Duo Deckham is indeed in brackets. Yeah. Square brackets. Right, not the curlies. Not the curly brackets, which would Have be even worse, even before? weirder. Is that me? It's TNP. Body of TNP has been found. Character and curly in case or anything after curly braces. It okay. is a naming system. That makes sense. Yeah. The game because the main character is named Quote as well. Huh. It's a game for English Programmers, I think. Oh, yeah, right. That makes are more sense. commonly used in programming than they are in actual writing. Very true. Although I, I did do my very best to use semicolons in all my essays in English because I knew it was a you know, uh, nine read of punctuation. I never students. used semicolons in any writing. Wow. Odds are, there's point. probably like one time when you should have and you didn't. These yeah, are just gold. Because people don't know when to use them. But I probably did overuse them. I think so. you can get away with never yeah. using them. You can, yeah, you can. A lot of people use, but people often use commas where they should have used a semicolon. Yeah, I think that's usually all right. But it's it's fine, is, is but perhaps preferred. Yes. I would call them out just because I, I miss I miss semicolons. Oh, well, sometimes use a hyphen to like almost Ooh, separate clauses yeah. in a sentence. That's, that's probably... very appropriate. Yes. Never a semicolon. Wow. All right. That's your choice, man. That's how we differentiate our writing. You know, if anybody ever sees something that you know, you 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 copy from me, and they're like, "Wait a minute, there's a semicolon here. He copied Mr. A. What the fuck?" So that's that's my signature. Oh, yeah, is a sense. common punctuation. <laughs> um, but yeah, that one's um not too silly. It's just. It's just well, a bit cl it's clunky. Know, it's clunky. Silly. It's clunky. Yeah. It's about to unpack criticizing you. Maybe another seven for this one. Yeah, another seven is solid. That's good for me. I'm down. I'm with it. Touch dick. Yeah, a dictionary game. Oh, yeah. I mean, assuming it's unintentional, that's, that's pretty funny. Um, if it's intentional, then it's not funny at all. It's like too easy of a joke. <laughs> It's hard to imagine it being unintentional, but... Uh, I don't know, it's just like a... It's like, wait, is this an English game, or is it from another It's language? Japanese, I'm pretty sure. I think it might be Japanese, yeah. So that's why I think yeah. it, it's probably unintentional, actually. Technically, it's called Touch Dictionary. Yeah, but... Toichi Chidigchi Onmoli. Yeah, see, Formerly so. known as Touch Dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's a good one. Oh, you yeah, know, because it's Japanese, I can believe. So I'll get this. Well, one yeah, that's that's. If it was English, eight. absolutely not. But in Japanese, I can believe it's it's unintentional. I'll give that an eight then. Yeah, eight's fine. Yeah. 
We have one more. Um, 70s robe. Oh, wait, we have two more. First being exist, archive, other side of the sky. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's pretty goofy. That's like, pretty what, silly what does that mean at all? Yeah. Uh, but I wouldn't, I mean, it's not like crazy silly. I, I'd, I'd probably give that one another seven, if anything. It's not as silly as Person of Lord the Caliber, I don't think. No, no. I think Exist Archive is the sillier half of it to me rather than the other side of the sky. If you just uh, took Exist under... Archive off and had the title be the other side of the sky, it would be Now that's a, that sounds okay. like an artsy game, a pretty cool yeah. title, yeah. But Exist Archive? The fuck? Of course it exists. That's the point think, of an archive. I think if you took off the other side of the sky as well and just had it be Exist Archive, it would be more acceptable. Oh, maybe, well. maybe, yeah. <laughs> when it's both of them together, I mean, it's kind of like greater than the sum of its parts in that way. Yeah. Well, I think a 7 is a reasonable score for this one. Yeah. Sure. And the last one was uh, 70s Robot Anime Gepi X. That one, I think, is, is pretty clearly satirical, though, so... It's, sure, uh... I thought so at first, but then I'm not sure anymore. Because apparently, the, I looked up the game, apparently it was like a PS1 game, and it was really um, just a big homage to 70s mecha anime. So... Okay, so not a satire, but still like intentional. I mean, yeah, I guess that does make a little difference. I think I might have given 70s robot anime a bit of a, too much flack. And I also thought you said get the X from the way you pronounced it, but it's Gepi X. No, get, yeah, I said Gepi, but... Yeah, you did, I just missed <laughs> word. Uh, yeah, 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 um, fair enough. So my judgment of this, uh, this silly title was uh, significantly wrong. Previous well, it stream. happens to the best of us. True. Um, Although, I think even if you take it on um, total like, face value, it's not that goofy. Nah, I'd give it a 6. Uh, not, 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 not really yeah, up to par with some of our better ones. That seems fair. 6 for that one? Our, our silliest titles are Riven Sequel to Mist and First, then uh, I think the only 9 out of 10 we have we agreed on was Digimon Adventure Colon. Yeah, that's, that's, just, that's just why would you do that? Yeah. Um, the only thing that could make it better is if it was a semi- <laughs> actually no, a semi would not be as funny. Yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> what about, I mean, you, you left out uh, Stein's semi Gate. Oh, true. Which, I, I you know, I think that. people are used to that one, but I think it is kind of silly. It's a little bit silly, it's not, but yeah. not really comical in its silliness, I think, so... I, mean, I will say, for me, Stein's Gate is a 3 out of 10. Okay, I, would, I was going to give it a 4, but that's our first sub-5, by the way. We agreed Nick Mystical Ninja starring going on. Is oh, true, true, fun? right. So, th yeah, then you can, yeah, 3 is fine. I've been fighting monsters or robots for like 20 minutes and I don't know why and I haven't gotten anything out of it even though I'm in a quest zone so I'm just gonna do something else and we'll come back to that or not. Okay. Um, Operator 60 to 2B. Come in 2B. 2B here. The monitoring signal from the new access point has gone silent. I'm sending you the positional data. Please investigate the site as soon as possible. Understood. No, this game does have a lot of side quests to throw at you if you want to do them. It does. Ah, your hub betrayer is here. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just like, I'm in the area, I'm, I'm doing it, but like that one, I was like, what am I supposed to I killed all the enemies marked with the quest symbol, and then nothing happened, so maybe I fucked up, but I'll maybe. figure it out later. Too busy waiting titles to, to think about the game. Intuitive quest design there, yeah. I've done them all. I've done all the side quests at some point, so I don't, you know it's not. I don't need the experience, and You're I'm sure our viewers guy. don't give a shit about watching me fight uh, machines as 9s especially. Well, that too. Hypothetically, it's hard to care about things now. when you don't exist. Sure. But, uh, I'm gonna get some viewers existing so they can tell me when I have my own audio muted for the entire stream. <laughs> yeah, oh shit. That would have helped. 
I mean, honestly, I mean, yeah, we we gotta just do an audio check every fucking time because it's, yeah. it's always something. So I'll I'll do it. Yeah. I got it's... distracted with my Digimon uh, review. That was the problem. I wasn't checking my stream settings. I'm supposed to be a little bit worrying about that. Yeah, but well, yeah. right. You uh, you you were rushing to get that done in time. What a thrill. Yes, it was very important to me. Alright, well, um... To have that, um... Deadline. Well, speaking of deadlines, I was gonna ask you to do a... You, you said we were gonna do... You were gonna do your 50... Top 50 games. Uh-huh. As an exercise, we're gonna say, just so that you do it. What, what if we said we try to get that done for the next stream we do? Thinking. I think that's fine. Yeah, I was just was thinking if I was doing anything yeah. especially busy. But I think I'm... I think, yeah, that should be reasonable. You can just like slap it together in half an hour with one of these things. Yeah, think. that's true. I was like, how much time? Was, uh, yeah, I was like, shit, do I have time? And then I was like, wait, how much time would this actually take? Not much. So yeah, no. I can I can do that, but I'll commit to that. The main reason That'd I was interested fun. in it was because I was thinking about uh, the notion that we haven't really shown off any of the games that you consider to be candidates for your favorite game ever. The, the games that seem to be having that status are Morrowind, Metal Gear Solid 3, um, Doom, and uh, System Shock 2. Okay, yeah. Which, wow, you got them all. Yeah. None of which have been featured on the stream so far. Metal Gear Solid 3, I think, is partially because we both have already played it. And we have never played a game that both of us had already played prior to showing it off on the stream either. Uh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, um... True. Well, I do, I, you know, 100%, one of us will play Morrowind. Um... Yes. Uh, Our stream will have the divine presence of Dagoth. Dagoth her absolutely. Fucking well, full of Dagoth. Her. Um. Come, sweet Nerevar. Uh. There's that, and then, I, 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 I was thinking about the others, but I just don't think that not either Doom or System Shock Two would be especially interesting to show off. I might do a System Shock 2 playthrough, but there's not, I guess what I meant was there's nothing really to talk about with it. I just like play through yeah. the game. Like there's not much, there's no, it's not like Deus Ex where there's like a bunch of philosophy to talk about. Um, and silly one-liners. And silly well. one-liners, yeah. The game gets silly at the end because the developers seem to just give up. But, um... It's at the end of trash, yeah. Yeah, the ending sucks. Um, we could analyze about how the RPG mechanics are integrated into the shooting and how that's so well done and all that. Yeah, stuff. I mean, Deus Ex has very similar. Um, you know, they're, they're both the same genre. They kind of pioneered that genre, which then immediately died after those two games. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it was just too hard an act to follow. Well, there is Vampire uh, the Masquerade as well, but yeah, after True. that, there that's was kind of nothing. Good. Yeah. And then Prey, the new Prey, which which is a very good game, uh, albeit uh, all of those um, Arcane Studios games are kind of in that genre, right? A little bit, but Prey much more so. Um, okay. Dishonored is really more of an action game than uh, than a true immersive sim like Prey is. Prey is very, very little in the way of character customization. Dishonored. Yeah. Yes, it, it not not much at all. Just some uh, great choices you can make, uh, but. Yeah. Um, and like Deus Ex is probably, well, I mean, Vampire the Masquerade also. Deus Ex, those two are more social focused, where like you can really talk your way out of things. Where a System Shock 2 and Prey, there's like barely anyone to talk to. It's basically a post apocalyptic environment. Hmm. So it's more about like stealth, combat, hacking, you know, all the other stuff, but not really social. And yeah. in, at least in Deus Ex, the social stuff was at least my favorite way to get past most obstacles, if, if it was possible. Um, and Vampire has that too. Yeah, like follow up to them and stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. And, and uh, New Vegas, the, the beautiful masterpiece. Yeah, New Vegas could be argued to be in this immersive sim genre. I know, but... it's, it's just a little bit too much of an RPG to really be considered an immersive sim, but I hate the immersive sim genre, like the, the it's not a very, classification uh, of it. Yeah, useful label, is it? It's literally just. It's FPS RPG, and they want they stop yeah, using that. Yeah, they don't want to call it that because that's sounds. It's crappy. clunky, but yeah, it's like Fallout has way more in common with something like uh, Deus Ex than uh, with Skyrim, for example. Like I feel, you know, oh, it's like the parts that I like about it. So, um, Morrowind. Uh, what about Bioshock? Where does it fit on this uh, spectrum? Bioshock was... well, that's the thing, is that's why the immersive sims died, I think, is because of Bioshock. 
not that I like uh, uh, Bioshock is a good Bioshock game, but, but Bioshock kind came about as a way to make um, simplify it, make yeah. it more accessible to first off to consoles, like flat out, just make make it less, make it so you didn't need a keyboard and mouse to play it, um, make it just more accessible to most people. So I really really enjoy Bioshock, but Bioshock because it, I think because Bioshock was good, it it f helped to facilitate the downfall of immersive sims because people. A lot of people were like, oh, we don't need all that clunky stuff. We can have all this streamlined stuff. But it's like, I like the clunky stuff. That's my favorite part. So, yeah. uh, so if you're people like me, it kind of fucked, uh, fucked me over. You do definitely lose some depth going from Day6 or System yeah. 2 to Bioshock. Even something like Stalker um, has those elements. That's like part of why I like there. Uh, so, yeah, I really, I really like those types of, of games. Those are like... I, in some ways, I consider those to be like the really like quintessential PC games. Not yeah. because it, it requires like I feel like RTSs are way more like you really need a mouse and keyboard. But I feel like Immersive Sims were the games that lost the most when they were cons the successfully consolified. Like Bioshock was good. I, I I liked it, but it it the genre lost a lot when Bioshock was was you know turned out to be successful. Um, IMO. There was a fairly long gap between Deus Ex and Bioshock already. I mean, six years, it's not, or seven years, it's not tremendously long. Yeah, well, Bioshock, yeah, I mean, it wasn't It wasn't like they started making it right after Deus Ex came out. I think they were working on System Shock 3, and then everything fell apart and the devs left. And a lot of the devs that made Bioshock are, are you know, ex-System Shock 2 devs. And I think even Arcane, that's the same. Like yeah, including Ken Levine, right? Right, a lot of people who worked on Prey are, are people who had worked on... Like, Prey is basically System Shock 3. It's it's like Yahtzee talked about in his uh, extra punctuation about Silent Hill. If they made a new System Shock, it's just the fucking title. We had mm -hmm. System Shock 3. It was Prey. It was good. You know, it's just like you're missing the title. That's all you're really missing. <laughs> um, well, you're missing Shodan, I guess. Showdown, Prey, Prey doesn't yeah. have a Shodan. Uh, that's sure, true. and is kind of the face of she is. System Shock. Literally, she's a big face. Yeah, and also <laughs> she is on the cover as as the face. Of yes. The I have a Shodan shirt. Did I ever tell you that? Really? That's fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! I should get a Shodan shirt. It's a long and weird story, but I can tell it if you would. Go like. ahead. We got time. It comes from the uh, board eight, the game facts contest wiki. Uh huh where people on that board like to run their own little little game fact contests on boards mm -hmm. which would become increasingly esoteric over time along with the, the real contest the real contest had like a best villains one and the best um character that was split into male and female villains or characters rather okay and then the people were proposing best video game quotes as a contest as well but that never happens which is good because it's kind of hard to give a shit um yeah. And to make to make fun of that, there the there was a very extreme like most esoteric contest possible proposed, which was best female villain quote ever. Oh, and, okay. Uh, eventually, someone ran that best female female villain quote, and there was a prediction contest to, as well to predict what the best like quote was, which I won, and therefore the guy sent me some best female villain yeah. contest oh, swag. Oh, cool. And the the uh, quote that won the whole thing was Shodan's "Look at you, hacker." Quote. Yeah. So, show damn, sure. damn, that's in quote. That's what I miss most about System Shock is is uh, panting and sweating through Shodan's corridors. Yes. <laughs> I uh, I like a lot of her. Perfect in the machine. Yeah. She had I, another one that was in the bracket. It was one about her own children that returned on her or something like that. Yeah, the uh, the she's talking about the many. That's her like big monologue, but her big reveal in System Shock too. She does. She talks about it. Yeah. yeah. I also have a watch that says Perfect Immortal Machine on it. Yeah. Yes. She has some good ones from one as well. What's, uh. What is it like? In my talons, I shape clay, uh, crafting life forms as I please. Uh. Shit, I don't remember the rest. This is a good one. Um. I, uh, but I used, I ran, so there's a, there's a game I, uh, like a role playing game I like called Mothership, which, uh, and I released a module where you are like um treasure hunters um uh, delving into this you know mega dungeon uh, abandoned like android facility that's run by a mad ai so i modeled my my called monarch 
so I'm on my meta that I have to show down and I, I, I like, I, I subscribe to a voice changing app and like try to make it sound like Shodan and then I would like <laughs> spew Shodan quotes at my players with the voice changer on. Uh, it's classic, classic. Did it work well? Yeah, I, they like. I, they said they liked it a lot, so... I can, I'll, I'll actually, I can, it, it hooks into Discord. I can, uh, I can try it on stream. <laughs> It, well, it's not exactly like her. She's hard. The first half, I'm not a woman, so it's it's yeah. hard to get the bass voice to work off. And then it's I, hard to make the voice change your thing. Yeah, I couldn't quite well. do it, but I, I did a pretty good one. Some like uh, like digitization and reverb uh, effects, and then I kind of have to like change my physical voice a little bit to sound yeah. appropriately mega mega maniacal. Um, but uh, it was fun. But yeah, should I have some good quotes? I was like that, you know, not to diminish your uh, achievement, but I feel like that would be a pretty easy uh, guess. As far that as female winning. villain quotes, <laughs> that's, that's that a classic. That one winning is fairly easy, but it was like you had to predict the whole bracket. Oh, damn. Okay. All right. Well, then. Wow. That one, I'm impressed. But you didn't have to get it all perfectly all right, right for mine. The closest. Yeah. Like quite a bit, actually. Yeah. Point Which was just luck. <laughs> but yes. Gotcha. That's cool. That guy over there. All right. Sniper Wolf had a couple of quotes. And... Yeah, but she's, I mean, yeah, she is technically a female antagonist, but she's not like a villain. Though. Yeah, I think that I didn't vote for her that much because her quotes are not that villainous, are they? No, she's just. GLaDOS like... also had a couple yeah, of Yeah, she's good. Things. That was good. That doesn't show then are often compared with one another. They're both crazy AIs. Female, crazy AI, female AI. AI yeah. Yeah. I think Gladys ends up having more um redeeming characteristics in humanity to her that or Shodan is just really evil. Yeah, Shodan is uh like her origin story is she was space station AI and the uh the like uh commander of the space station wanted her uh, moral constraints removed so she wouldn't give a shit if she was like doing a bunch of illegal shit and then yeah. without any so she has literally no morality i guess so that's why she's so evil shodan may be an example of actually a uh, a, a trans antagonist uh, because I think uh, yeah. the I think the AI was was personified as a male originally, and then chose to portray itself as a female. Okay. So there you, you could go. Consider that to be a trans <laughs> if you, yeah, if you find that kind of thing important, you could consider Shodan uh, as an example. Yeah. There's not too many other. Um, transgender characters in mainstream video games. There's poison, of course. That's the only other one I know. Alberto by some interpretation. <laughs> Alberto, yeah. Nice, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's, um... Oh, yeah, well, uh... Not really Kine. trans, but Kaine from Near Replicant. Yeah. Is not, not really She's trans, like, um, but... Intersex. Non-binary. Non-binary, non -bi non yeah, definitely. And definitely has some psychological issues stemming from that uh, internal conflict. But, uh... Okay, amnesia. Oh, um, uh, Madeline from Celeste, of course. Oh, Not yeah. addressed at all in the game, but the developers are right. sure it does. is is factually <laughs> true. <laughs> is trans check? Yeah. Not a lot of trans representation. No. What a shame. <laughs> There's a char trans character in Hogwarts Legacy, though. <laughs> oh, is <laughs> there? Way, apparently, yeah. Oh, okay. Is <laughs> a way of trying to, like, sidestep the controversy, which did not work, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so speaking of mild consumer-related controversies, the 3DS and Wii U eShops are closing this month. What? Do you have any feelings on this matter? I... if I still played my Wii, I might be a little pissed, but I don't know. It's... 
been so long. The Wii one's been closed for a while. It's the or, Wii U now. Oh, Wii U. Shit. Yeah. Okay, that's, yeah. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about the Wii U. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I can understand somebody being pissed. Yeah, 3DS, yeah. The 3DS one is more of a loss. Well, it seems that you will be able to continue. Um, my, my stance on this in, in the end is like, uh, I don't like it, but I. If I recognize that this is an inevitability when companies are always concerned with profit. Um, but it seems that you'll be able to re-download any games oh, okay. you, you've bought already, which makes me wonder, like, how much less expensive is it to keep a thing up that you can still re-download all the games from if you have them on your account um, versus hmm. home where you can buy them. Because if, if it's not a significant difference which I, I can't imagine it being and it feels like it is just a very arbitrary thing designed to try and drum up some last minute sales for the um 3ds and wii u games i think there there has to be some infrastructure that needs to be maintained to handle the uh purchasing so uh you know as far as how much money they're saving i don't know but it's like yeah i mean yeah it's got to shut down at some point i feel like it is an inevitability um, just makes sense, so... And as long as you can re-download stuff you've already bought, and, like, it's not like, are there any games that are exclusive to the online store that you can't, you know, get oh, other words, yeah. Oh, really? Sounds, okay, well, that sounds good. Because that they would good. have smaller games that weren't, like, big enough to get a box to the uh... release, but that, um, were on the store. I have yeah. heard that it is quite easy to hack your Nintendo 3DS, though, to get any game you would like, and there are emulators for it as well, of course. Oh, here's Jack. Um, yes. I don't know, yes. my yes. final thought is, like, practically, just, like, practically speaking, I'm okay with it. Like, I get, I get why some people would be upset, and, like, ideally it wouldn't happen, but it's like, yeah, you can still re-download your stuff, you know it's gonna get shut down at some point, and... You, it sucks that there are some games that are going to be lost, but it's like, if you are in the year 2023 and you haven't, you care about those games, you probably would have gotten them by now. You know, like, I don't know if anybody's really missing out on, on anything from this happening. Well, but... Luckily, from the perspective of preserving games as an art form, there are people like, you know, people who run that ROM websites are, yeah. are doing that. True. And, and that's another thing, yeah, like, uh, you, you can you can get games through other means, um, through, through because of people. Would you say that you things. feel it is more morally justified to emulate a game if it is uh, not available for for purchase in any official form? Yes, because the, the 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 moral ah, I dropped my control. The, the moral uh, issue is that you are you are not not giving the developers money that you would have given them otherwise. And if there is no way to give them money, then that's it. You know, they're not losing, nobody's losing anything, you know? Yes. You could uh, emulate it and then send them a fiver in the mail. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a point where, I mean, there's a lot of games that I used to love that are now abandonware, and I have, I mean, I, j I don't really have any qualms about piracy myself. Um, it's just like such a drop in the bucket, and most of that money goes to the yeah. those greedy bastard publishers. Um, yep. But I will I will buy a game if if I can and if it's reasonably a reasonably priced and available to me. Um, but I have no real qualms about piracy. Um, every movie we've ever watched together almost has been pirated. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care, and it's like. Yeah, and, uh, and but especially if it's no longer available, it's like yeah, go for it. Um, I definitely don't think twice about like downloading a game that isn't available for purchase. Yeah. So. And I mean, a lot of times I'll even even games available, I I will torrent them to see if because I'm unsure. I'll see if I like them, and then if I like them, I will buy them. But I don't want to, you know, I don't want to commit to a game yeah. I'm unsure about, and, and demos are just not a thing for most games anymore, so... And Steam, fucking Steam support got onto me for refunding too much, even though I thought that's what their fucking refund system was for, so you could try shit. Uh, but, um, yeah, so... That's how it goes. Jack uh, saying here? Oh, sorry, she wants to, like, she's, like, blowing up caves. Uh... Okay. Uh, some lady... Oh no no we're we're tracking the amnesia quest and so Jackass like saw the the killer. 
the killer of that woman's friend. Oh, the red, the red dress. Yeah. So yeah, we, we found a person wearing a hood, a red hood. We were like, where'd you get that hood? They were like, it was a present. And that's when uh, 2B was like, you shouldn't give presents to people because they might not want it. Oh, okay. um, and then we, we go and find... Uh... So Jackass bought the Red Hood from a red-haired resistance woman who sounds like the amnesiac woman. So let's go back to her and ask her why she matches the description of the killer. That's where we're at right now. And by matches the description of the killer, I mean they both have red hair, so... <laughs> The description of a female resistance member with red hair and I guess they're female. Client. But if it's the same person, why most of the androids seem to be female, but uh, the still. Um, true, most are, but there are there are still men. There's Linus. Let's go talk to her. Linus is not a man; he's a boy. I guess that's true. Um, but there are there are men. Their weapons uh, upgrade guy is a is a man. Um. Okay. Oh, that There's a strange resistance man. Yes, and strange resistance woman. So they cancel out. <laughs> I think I can. Oh yeah, I think I can get out of the cave system from here. All right, cool. See that side. You know that that whole cave system is unique, like to that side quest. No reason to go down there, except that side quest. So we got to explore some That's caves good. and that talk about the 3DS. Quest is not just purely padding. That's right. I bought a 3DS game to celebrate the store going out of business, okay. which is um, Attack of the Friday Monsters at Tokyo Tale. Okay. Yes, in my, journey, my journey to this game is um, when I was watching Mushishi, I found out about that anime genre, the, the healing anime. We're going to yeah. look at that term again. And I was looking at the list of those. Um, let's see. Because, uh, you know, I, I thought it was interesting. Like, yashikai is the term for this healing anime. But most of the examples of it, as I said, were all just like cute girls anime for perverts. Right. Yep. For Cthulhu. <laughs> yes, which I'm not personally in so much into. Mm -hmm. uh, the one example I found of, is, is not that, is what's called. The Boku no ya not to Yasumi series of games, mm -hmm. which that, that title translates as like My Summer Vacation. Okay. Which is a, it starts on the PS1, and it's a, I think it's almost kind of like a precursor to Animal Crossing or Harvest Moon, where um, you're just a little boy who's spending the summer at his uncle or something, you just kind of like catch bugs and shit and uh, sit around your house. Yeah, yeah. Classic. <laughs> fly a kite. Um. So that sounded interesting, but all those games are like in Japanese with no English translation. Yeah. But then I'll look, uh, upon looking them up on YouTube, I found a video that was like, <laughs> "Did you play this 3DS game in brackets before it's too late?" Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like with the yeah, store, yeah, which is very much doing the advertising for them. Yes. <laughs> But the, the, that game that they were talking about in the essay was Attack of the Friday Monsters, A Tokyo Tale. Okay. Which is apparently inspired by the Boku no Natsu Yasumi games, mm -hmm. because you are also a young boy who is walking around um, a like, rural area in the summer without a particular goal in mind. But unlike those games, you can't actually do anything except for talk to people. So it was just a short narrative adventure mm -hmm. where all you do is walk around town, you know, Putter around town and find people that were marked on the map for you to talk to. Oh, okay. And then talk to them for a bit. Of course. And then some, some story events would happen. So you like meet a bunch of other, you meet a few other kids and they are playing this card game based on kaiju. It says monsters, but there's Japanese voice acting. It's just, it's the kaiju type of monster specifically. Right, the big ones. Yes, as opposed to, uh, you know, Mono, uh, Mononoke or, uh, Yokai. Yokai, yes, that's the big one. The big type of Japanese yeah. monster. Or just Pokemon, which is the literal translation of the word monster. Oh, yeah. Um, Pokemon. And they have a weird little tradition among the children that if you lose at the card game to another kid, you become their servant, and then they can cast a spell on you, and you have to follow them in response to that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and certain, certain characters will not give you information if you are their servants, so you have to beat them in the card game. 
to make them talk to you, but otherwise it's just like literally no purpose in the entire game. Okay. <laughs> And it gets it gets kind of annoying because you like are afraid to talk to the other kids and see if they have new dialogue because they might challenge you to the stupid charge game. Oh if they, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you refuse a challenge, they then you become their servant as well. Mm -hmm. Um. But other than that, you're just like a little kid. You work for the uh, or your your parents are the dry cleaners of the town. Okay. And uh, yeah, you're supposed to like deliver the dry cleaning to your neighbor, but then you forget, and then you just go play cards with your friends or stuff for a bit. And they think there are real monsters in their town because there's big monster footprints, but it's just because there's a kaiju show that's being um, filmed there, basically. I see. Uh, and so you try to solve the mystery of the monsters, but it turns out it's just a film crew, but then also real aliens show up. And you find out that you oh. are an alien, apparently, because cool. your dad is one. Of course. Yes, and he was he was supposed to be the hero of the galaxy and fight monsters, but he didn't. And then you help him by um, you help him realize his hero transformation. He turns into something that kind of looks like Ultraman, but it's called like Cleaning Man. It's like a dry cleaning based superhero. Oh. He fights the fish. He fights the monster. <laughs> yes. And then he's losing, but you do the spell on the monster to make it fall over, because if all you do it together, it works on the monster, and then it gets, when it falls over, it splashes mud on all the dry cleaning, and it makes your dad really angry. Ah, oh, yeah. That would suck. So I thought the game was nice, it was just a quick, short and sweet little funny story game. Yeah, sure. It was very light-hearted. Like, there's another kid who's a bully, but you just easily make friends with him and forgive him, and it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> That's all bullies need is a friend. This one apparently was like that. Maybe even a card game. And, uh, make him your servant. And that's how you need to it. <laughs> and command him to stop bullying you. Well, you can command him to do those fall over. And oh, I didn't think you would have missed out on this game. Had, you, had it not been recommended to you because the store was closing. Yes. So when this marketing worked. Yes. Always does. <laughs> Great work, Nintendo. No, don't kill me again. Fuck. The character also has a love interest who is the, um, like, narrator of the game. Oh, okay. And you cannot play the card game against her until after the end of the post game, but if you lose to her, it says, like, you became her servant at last. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. Little hint towards our true motivation. Yes, I guess your character is into that type of thing. Yes, so apparently. Whether you like it or not. Cool, well. Uh, glad, glad you enjoyed it. How long did, uh, you said it was short, like how long was yeah, it? Yeah, like two hours. Oh, okay, wow, that, wow, really short. I think like yes. short is like five hours. <laughs> I didn't do the full post game, like, you can run around and talk to people more in the post game, so I'll do that sometime. Okay, yeah. Don't feel obligated. I would like to. Okay. It's more of basically what the same thing as the game is already about, after all. Walking around and talking to people. Right, right. Oh, yes, and this game was part of the guild compilation for 3DS games, which there are two waves of those, Guild 01 and Guild 02, which were just, like, fairly unconnected, small indie games, I think. Okay. Or not even indie games, because this was, it was all produced by Level 5, which is the Professor Layton guys. Yeah, true. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, that's not indie. They're, they're not very well known, but they are a... A known developer. All units, be on the lookout they, uh, for a missing Yorha in the city room. This unit was hmm. in possession of several plugins that contain classified Also, Dragon Quest VIII. And John Dach. And Yuzama 11, which is a soccer anime. Understood. Ooh, sports Chips anime. The oh, White Moose. The pinnacle of anime, yes. Nino Kuni, Wrath of White Witch, are involved with. So, a lot of anime games. Yeah, right a lot of child-friendly anime games. Yokai Watch as well. <laughs> Yokai are child-friendly. Those are they're de demons. They are in Yokai Watch. Okay. Yokai Watch is basically just like Pokemon, but with Yokai. What? 
When do you think you'll be willing to call me Nines? Nine S works just fine. Well, yeah. <laughs> I like how he phrased that. When do you think you'll be willing to call me Nines? <laughs> I forgot you could talk to her. Hold on. I can, like. Oh, can you not? Oh, no, I just comment style. Okay. You change Actually... your AI behaviors. Looks strange. I thought, I thought you could do a uh, little uh, dialogues, but that feel like it's just random. Yeah. The way he phrased that seems to like demand that at some point she must be willing that's, to That's 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 very crafty of him. Yeah. It's like, that's how you phrase things for uh, for young children. It's... I hear is like uh, not like do you want to eat your carrots? It's like you want the carrots or the broccoli, you know? And then mm. they they don't they don't have a real choice. Oh. Yes, these are things that uh, you have to consider, I suppose. I suppose. You want the carrots or the belt? Right, I'm trying to find the fucking amnesiac android, and I can't remember what, which of these identical Soviet buildings she's in. See, this is the problem with brutalist architecture. It is, it is. Although, you know, you can make brutalism look fancy. There's a, there's the train station in Rome, or no, in uh, Milan, I think, um, that is Surely very brutalist. Your Italian cities mixed up with each other a lot. Because I don't remember which one the fucking... I was, we, were, we just got off the long ass <laughs> flight. Everyone, it was like morning in Italy and we'd all been awake for like 20 hours. You did go across the whole sleep. country in like one week, right? Uh, like two weeks, yeah, but we didn't really visit the south, but it was 11 cities in 14 days, so the first one we visited was Milan, where we landed, and yeah, there was a train station there my dad was super excited about, uh, and it's this just brutalist, brutalist. brutalist architecture built by Mussolini, and it has, it's like, it has like big strong faces on, on the outside. Uh, so, you know, fancier than just the, the very plain uh, brutalist architecture. You can Brutalism can be uh, fancy. Okay, wait, she's definitely in this building, but she's like over here, right? The no. Milano Central Railway, railway Station? Yeah, Where yeah, Milano Centrale. Here you go. Pretty sure it's in Milan. Does it look br like I described? Look, it's called Milano, and then it's probably in Milan. No, it's in Milan. Well, I'm, I mean, the... I don't know if it's the Milano Centrale train station, but I think it is. It has, like, lions on it. Lions? Okay. I thought it was like... are statues of um, men with a horse. Mm, yeah, that could be it. Maybe I'm misremembering slightly, but it uh, sounds about right. Hmm. I think Milan is also where they have the, the Duomo that uh, inspired Anne Orlando. Italy has many lovely historical buildings. It does. Duomos specifically. Or uh, cathedrals. She was there. She was in that building. I fucking missed her. I knew it. Okay. All right. So wait. Um. Yes, I'll be going back in uh, late late March, March twentieth. That'll be fun. Italy. Italy. Yep. With my parents and my uh, sister and brother-in-law. My brother-in-law is his first time out of the country, so that'll be uh, fun. Oh, wow. Yeah. What did you do uh, out of town this weekend? I went to my stepsister in law was in town. She lives in Scotland, so she's not around often. So uh, my oh, wife yeah. wanted wanted me to come down and, and uh, meet her, or not meet her, uh, but see her. And then we also announced to the family that uh, you know she's pregnant. Um, so yes, that was fun. Yes, you have conceived. Yes, successful conception. Conception achieved. My mom was being like weird about it. Well, in Ukraine, like uh, you don't really celebrate anything until the baby's born. 
uh, just because they yeah. might die. Uh, it's just like a cultural <laughs> thing. And uh, so it's like, uh, there's a lot of Ukrainian superstition about like, no baby shower, no gifts, you don't buy clothes uh, for the baby. Um, my parents didn't even know if uh, like I was a boy or girl until I was born. Um, actually, the father is not allowed in the room. Um, which, which is very much, uh, you know, like here, like, you gotta let the father in. Everyone's appalled yeah. when I mentioned that, but it was the opposite. Like, when my dad found out he, from, like, uh, missionaries that in America, you, you know, the dad is in there, and he's like, why would you want to see that? <laughs> that seems like that's perverted. <laughs> I've heard that sometimes the men don't really like being in Oh, they that pass much. out all the time, yeah. Uh, but, um... Yeah, my dad said you call them, and they're like, uh, "Yep, uh, it's a it's a boy, height, weight, it's healthy," and they hang up. <laughs> you know, it's like it's, it's what you get. Okay. But then it's like a big thing when you arrive to pick up the baby. You like bring flowers for the nurses, mm -hmm. and like it's like it's like a whole little sort of a little you ceremony. You don't buy clothes for it until it's born, or like shortly before the birth. No, like after it's born. But you know, you, you get given stuff too, but like yeah. no no such thing as like a baby shower here. That that's all after the birth, I think. Um, well that's understandable, I guess. My mother also didn't um well, she specifically chose not to have the doctor tell her what sex yeah. we were when we were being born. Like before we were born. She yeah. wanted to be a surprise when we were born. My wife and I don't care if it's a surprise, but we're not gonna ask. It's just like not important. If they tell sure. us, like, fine. Um, well, we, so we have here uh, the we we see proof that the this the android with amnesia is the one that murdered her best friend, and she's freaking out. She blocked the memories, and she says she's a type E, a hitherto unheard of to us uh, Yorha type. E for executioner. They execute deserters and traitors. Mm. Guises herself and kills without warning. So, I wonder if we'll meet any other E types. E -type. on, uh, who? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wonder who else may secretly be an E type in this game. We'll find, like, yes. find out. But that's why this quest uh, is like a little, little, little bit of foreshadowing. I guess she probably uh, wiped her own memory. We'll find out. Are you okay? Maybe we shouldn't Clearly have to not. solve this mystery. You get the ominous chanting music. Yeah, and her uh, going, uh, she's doing the Joker laugh. <laughs> she's gonna try to kill us for the memory. He's just like, get out of here. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Uh, I always like that little. Uh, I didn't know there was such a thing. Little Did you twist. Like, what the fuck? Some things are better left unknown. Yeah, I suppose so. It's very philosophical. Yeah, to be just like, we could have not done that quest, and I would have been satisfied. <laughs> All right. Um, what else? I think I have some stuff to turn in. Or was I was I doing something that like I got mostly done? And then we can probably get it, get into that good old forest. Oh yeah, uh, we can we can talk to the angles. Oh yeah. Idiots spawn, I have to hack the robot, that's what I didn't do. Oh yeah, those locations, we'll get the forest. Did I do this one? Oh, I have to find them. Okay. Pascal, that's for Pascal. Yorka units, I can't find them, I've looked, I don't want to deal with it right now. Alright, cool, we're, we're like in pretty good shape. Yeah, I think I can go deliver some stuff at the camp. The music is still going, we're supposed to feel very sad. Gregorian chanting is the uh, the ultimate form of musical expression. Why do you say that? I don't know. I have a friend who really likes.
likes. I do like the uh, the the Mechanica soundtrack has a lot of like techno rewarding chanting. I, I do really like it. Very epic sounding. This game too, kind of. Uh, it's like a, it's like a sub. I don't know what makes chanting especially Gregorian. It's only kind of I chanting I'm aware of. It just sounds very uh, very cathedral uh, appropriate. <sighs> I can imagine Pope Gregory himself chanting. That last uh, one was cathedral. Uh, that was like. definitely quite Gregorian. So that that's the definition. I immediately forgot where I was going. I think I'm going to see Pascal, but we can do that. The idiots of Antony. Well, that's at Pascal's place, but we can. Uh, oh, the raid quest. I don't want to do. Let's go through the amusement park to get to Pascal's camp, and then we can we can get that picture. That's efficiency. Androids are known for their efficiency. That's good pathing, yeah. It is. I'm known for my my pathfinding skills. Very pathfinder. Second edition. That's what that's the, the protagonist from Mass edition? Effect. What'd you say? Is that the current edition? Of it, it is. Exactly? It's a... Well, what they say? gotta catch up. Dungeons Dragons is like five editions. Well, now. Pathfinder is a spin-off of of D and D three point five, so they're number wise they're behind, but they started off with actually kind of a boost. Let me kill the robots. Okay, sure. Let's. I'll just do it. Quest says I should. You're leveling up. So it's all worth it. Thing, right? Yeah. I've matched their level now. In the last room we talked about the literary masterpiece Finnegan's Wake, and how it might be the least read major work of English literature. Yeah, that's what some critics uh, posit. I think that's very likely to be true. What do you think is the most read work of English literature? Um, the Yeah, that's the possible. Oh, it's probably something by Shakespeare, to be honest. They're oh, honest, read it yeah. in school, like Hamlet, remember. maybe. I mean, I had to read Huck Finn in school, but yeah. Uh, I did. Uh, I, mean, I think it's more of an American thing. Okay, well, yeah, for, um, not enough beavers in that one. Like yeah, slavery? Yeah. What's that? Um. Well, in like Europe and in the UK and stuff, also don't read it probably because it's so American. It is very American. You probably read uh, Oliver Twist instead. Uh, well, I also read Oliver Twist. Did not like it very much. You didn't like Oliver Twist? I thought it was uh, Great Expectations that you didn't like. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, no, I think you're right. I think it was. I think I didn't read Oliver Twist and did read Great Expect Expectations. More like Great Expectorations. Got him. Um, yeah. I like all because it's significantly more in comparison to okay, yeah, I think great it's expectations. Discovered. Oh, there's a stamp, that's what I like. Yeah, I'd say probably it's Hamlet out of English literature. It's the Bible out of all of Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in general. But, um, so how are you in, uh, in, in uh, Le Comte de Monte Cristo? Let's go to the part where, um, Fernan kills himself. Oh no. Yeah. I kind of disgraced him, and then his son, Albert de Morsurf, was like, I'm gonna do with someone. I don't know who it is yet, but I'm gonna do with someone. So he goes to his journalist friend, and he's like, you're gonna do with me. And the journalist's like, no, because I published the truth. So he's like, okay, I'm gonna do with Danglars then, and then he doesn't do with him either. So then he tries to do with Captain Monte Cristo, and he still also doesn't do with him. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Well, and then, yeah. uh, but there's that that big reveal, right, where where Edmond Dantes uh, puts yeah. on like his old clothes from like 20 years ago. <laughs> in front of Fernand. In front yeah, of Fernand. Scary. Yeah. Who then just goes and kills himself because he was so frightened, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, first, you have uh, Mercedes. That's how, how the book formally reveals that Count of Monte Cristo is Edmond Dantes' Mercedes, but then begs him not to kill their son in a duel. That's right. Yeah, and he's like. And use Damn his it, name, I really she, wanted to. She was the one person who could tell who he was. Yeah. Before it was formally revealed. So that was the last thing. And then, uh, 
Madame Beaufort keeps poisoning people, now she's trying to poison uh, Valentine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Old poison shtick. It's also her son can get a lot of inheritance. Yes, yes, a worthy cause. Um, yeah. Okay, well you're, yeah. So you're, you're, you've approached the, kind of the final act, I'd say, where the Count's plans are coming mm -hmm. to fruition. Two of his four targets are already deceased now. Right. Like Fernandez uh, killed himself. Yeah. And I'm near the end of book five and six, so yeah. Definitely closing in on the conclusion of the novel. Mm -hmm. Hold on. This is one of the places in that resistance cool, cool, cool. photographs. Better record the coordinates. I think I, well, I know what I was going, we can talk about it after. Uh, I have opinions of uh, which which uh, endings are more or less satisfying for, for his uh, his enemies. Yeah. I know you said that you like Vilford a lot. I, I, I get Vilford and Danglar confused, but I think I like Vilford. To the, to the end. Two final ones. Are the first two I like. Because um, he, uh, like the, the that's like the first uh, one where he like really reveals himself. It's also almost like the most passionate one for him because uh, Fernando is the one that uh, you know fucked his girl. Oh, see a theatrical performance here, Romeo and Juliet. Yes. You don't quite know the lines. Although I think yeah, this isn't actually in this room. This is, um, philosophical. Yes. About the nature of identity. Why doesn't each room here just match up with a Juliet? I don't know. They, I don't think they quite understand the play. <laughs> I should not <laughs> tread my ambit <laughs> pentameter right now. This is way better, though. This is always how I imagine the fight scenes going when I read the Shakespeare. <laughs> that was stupid asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty even fight so far. It is. Okay, now the Juliet seem to have the upper hand. Okay, Juliet won. <laughs> yeah, Juliet won. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> this is pretty true to the original. That was really good. <laughs> cool, man. Do more. What if they do a Midsummer Night Stream next? <laughs> I was thinking that uh, Oscar Wilde is probably the king of witticisms, but then I realized Shakespeare is the king of witticisms. Yes. And Oscar Wilde is the prince, but I think he might like that more. Got a stamp? Uh, yeah, that's fair. I don't think either would be offended at your uh, characterization. Everyone enjoyed the play? I say that yes, this is like a minor bear in the witticisms. True, he has like he, he has uh, like wholesome witticisms in a way. Wholesome witticisms, yeah, kind of. Kind of. His witticisms tend to be a little long, but Shakespeare had some long ones too. Yes. She take a quick break while we're in the elevator. <laughs> okay.
Let's test, make sure the audio is still good. Okay. Never can trust it. All right, <clears throat> we'll probably come back here later uh, to finish this quest up. I don't really want to go kill machines and get the cable. It looks like this is part one of a quest, so I have to do some more stuff, but we'll see. It's kind of out of the way. The only reason I came through here was to get to Pascal's camp, and then I got caught up collecting these stamps. Right, yeah, and get that picture. We've gotten, so let's see. Uh, we can get stamps if they're on the way. Time now? Or maybe, maybe it was before, I don't remember. I thought it was dark. It's kind of cloudy. There's stamps here, but it looks like, you know, is it inside this happy family? I don't really want to kill them. Okay, my pod immediately attacks these guys, so they're safe. They're safe. Apparently. Hello. Hello, welcome back. I returned. Excellent. I was just realizing as I was away that I said Boku no Nazi Asami was a precursor to Harvest Moon, but that game came out in 2000 and the first Harvest Moon was on SNES in 1996. Okay. So that Thank doesn't you for work. Correction, that was really bothering yes, me. Yes, self correction. Yes. But, uh, I Both think it's still slightly before the first day of Animal Crossing. You know? I'm not 100% sure because I think Animal Crossing 
for like a Super Nintendo or N64 version in Japan. Tidbit, that was 2001, so still. Okay. I expect better uh, journalistic uh, integrity from you in the future, but. It's more like uh, journalistic accuracy, I guess. Sure, I guess integrity, you did admit your mistakes, so there's no problem there. That is good integrity. Yes. Integral journalism. The best, my favorite part of Matthew X, integrals. Kidding, they suck. Um, yeah, that's right. <laughs> get the computer to do that shit for you. Um, well, I, you know, I, I kind of just wanted to blast through the amusement park real quick, but then I got caught up doing like three extra quests. So let's just, you know, while we're here, uh, look on these little cars. This is now just a side quest stream, but that's okay, I guess. No, uh, just mostly. You did play Adam and Eve. Yeah, I do intend to continue the story. Let's have a goal of finishing the forest today, which means I probably need to go over there now. <laughs> Let's wrap up here first. Is there a tank? What am I doing here? There's more stamps. All right, fuck it. Uh, all right, let's yeah, let's 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 get the forest done, and then we'll uh, we can do more side quests next time, and then honestly finish 9s next stream, mm -hmm. basically guaranteed, and then we'll have then we'll be able to get to the real got, um, meat of the game. Do John Paul's side quest, and uh... I am doing it. So you you have to just go back to all the girls that he shunned and mm -hmm. just tell them how he feels, and they're like, "Yes, I love him yeah. more now." So yes. uh, we are we are in the process. I don't know where the last one is. So I talked to the one at the um, at amusement park and the one at Pascal's camp. I don't remember where the last one is, but we'll, we'll find her. We can look at the map when it, when it all comes down to it. But for now, uh, yes, let's make our way over to... This way. I might even have enough money to pay the, uh, the, the inventor guy, because that's all he, all he wants is money. You have a stamp, don't you? Whoa, chill, dude. Okay, I thought we were gonna fight him, but he just gives us the stamp. He just does so angrily. Yeah. <laughs> Fine by me. Since last stream, we also talked about um, AI-generated memes. Mm hmm. So including they got her, which is which is, uh, has inspired many people to replay Morrowind. <laughs> yes. The divine presence of Dig Author has been on a lot of people's yes. minds lately. Yes. Well, I liked it less when it was him just reading out HP Lovecraft or something compared to the ones that people have written in character as okay. Dig Author. As seen with the Morrow or the Elder Scrolls tier list that I posted where he gave them all a low score for failing to include the divine presence of Dig Author. Yes. Which is fair. And, but Morrowind got an S, of course. Now, yes. Arena got a C. Uh, yeah, because so the mountain is there in that game. That's not fair, though, because the mountain is there in Skyrim as well. So, should have mentioned. Oh, okay. yes, uh... But that is after he's dead, so I guess uh, maybe he didn't like that part. You have to do Skyrim waifu tier list where you give them all low rankings for being filthy outlanders. True, but even if you play as a dark elf in Morrowind, everyone still calls you a filthy outlander because you stepped foot off of Morrowind for like a second, so... Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they still don't like you. Not only do you have to be a dark elf, you have to have lived in Morrowind your entire life and never left. And even see. then, you could be part of the wrong house, or you might have like smiled at an imperial soldier and thereby betrayed your race uh they're very picky it's quite funny except for slavery i guess that's not smart. apparently they got there is not very fond of argonians no yeah uh dunmer hate argonians because argonians are suitable only as to be slaves khajiit as well the, the beast races as they're called yeah. in Morrowind. that is the uh ideology that they got there espouses in the memes yeah he's like a thousand years old, so he's not very progressive. He's a boomer. <laughs> he's a boomer. <laughs> he lives in a volcano. 
How more boomer can you get? <clears throat> New Vegas had a fact chain called the Boomers. Oh yeah, true. They were cool. They just liked explosives. Yes. Like Ziggs from League of Legends. Yeah, classic guy. He likes explosions a lot. That's his whole lore. Mm -hmm. I've also been watching some of the um, gamer president memes that have been coming out now. The yeah. better uh, AI voice generation. Which I generally find myself enjoying because they tend to have like a friendly but very um, aggressive dynamic. Between the yeah, it reminds me of, of me talking to my friends in high school on, the, yeah. on Discord. I find Hello, that really. funny now. Mm -hmm. There's one where they play League together that's pretty good. And oh, okay. A, a Fire Emblem tier list with a... Presidents trying to make a fire and one through your list together. Also, Ben Shapiro was there. Oh, yeah, I, I Ben Shapiro was in that one of the, the CSGO ones I saw. Yeah, Ben Shapiro is there a lot of the time. <clears throat> so, we're trying to we're, keep getting this boy out of his room because he's a shut in, but now we've inspired him to be the best shut in ever, which you know, is at least now he has a goal. Worry. So. <laughs> What else we're we doing around here? Some quests up here. Oh yeah, the idiot savant. You know, attack this dude. Yeah, you can't see it. Yeah. Ah, wow. This area has some of my favorite music. What? This area has some of my favorite music. Yes, very uh, innocent and childlike and joyful. Fuck. I hope nothing happens to these poor robots later in the game. Yeah, nothing extremely tragic. <laughs> depressing. Look what happens to every character. <laughs> in any Yoko Taro game ever. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Fuck. Uh, I can't. God. I'll try again. At least there's no time limit. Like this one, like oh, true. Some of them do have a time limit. Just kind of not get hit by these simple ones so that I can handle the engine ones. Oh, it's only one. You get three hits total, so that's one life down. Come on. Okay. Who's next? You next. There are also the Eminem AI no. generated raps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about those. Uh, I still, I forgot to listen to that, but I trust you that they're quite good. Um. <laughs> like when where he becomes a character in Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Oh, that's that sounds great. Any a specific character or just? Uh, yeah, he's, he's I just don't there. know what name it is. Is, uh, is it Boo Boo? I don't know. Okay. He's he's kind of a meme character. It, it is kind of a meme persona that Eminem takes on in, yeah. in the book. Well, it's He's like fucking the... everything up, basically. Ah, okay. No, not Lugu. Lugu is like overpowered and uh, in all of the uh, whatever they're called. Nice the... warriors, yeah. Nice warriors, yeah. You do not pursue. Which you have to Lugu. pursue Lugu, or yeah. You cannot you pursue. pursue. You should. You should not pursue Lugu. Do not pursue Lugu. Is the all the, the meme. <laughs> Of course, there's the Total War Three Kingdoms game, which I haven't played, but I heard it's pretty good. Is there any romance in that? Probably, and Lugu's probably in there too. No, there's no way. Oh no, I did it. Cool, we, we unlocked the, the boy's intelligence, maybe. Wow, he's smart. Okay, he's too smart. Sweet. And we got many 10, machine parts. Energy. Yes, yeah. and uh, two of each. Uh, we can build two full machines now. Wow. 
All right. Not so not idiot sure after all. Reply unknown. Terms are too vague. Formulate a reasoned response. <laughs> Don't I know it? How do people die? At uh, Jean Paul, he's so. Uh, Can you anger anger I, him? Uh, too? It, uh, it's probably. I think there's probably a fight here later. <laughs> Just, the game has no concept of uh, of time, only space. Yep. I think like the introduction of the uh, corpse, like the 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 um, you know a sea people died from demon souls, is, like just like really cool. I'm really glad this game adopted that. Like anytime I see that, I think it's really fun. A lot of games have done that ever since uh, From Software created it. Yeah, I mean, that's like this game's only multiplayer component is just seeing more people <laughs> dying. <laughs> There's like the thing maybe. at the end where you can give up your save file. Uh, yeah, there is that. That's true. Credits. That's true. I, I, I do intend to sacrifice this save file. Yeah, that would be that's the TMP way. Yeah, exactly. Very charitable here. After all that, let's finally go to the forest and we'll do the rest of the side quests That's after this. a good idea, I think. Or we'll do any remaining side quests we want to do afterwards. Yeah. I th honestly, we're probably good. I don't I don't think I need to spend much more time on them. But if we need time to talk about, you know, random bullshit, uh, this must be the commercial should structure be Pascal was talking about. Yes. The records say it was once a facility known as a shopping center. They have a good shopping center, uh, Convo that I don't know if maybe I keep going as 9s they'll do it. It's kind of funny. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's like why are we previously? Yeah, it's like why are we dressed as maids? Why You're what do humans use to wear? Maybe there's some kind of mechanism we could engage. Need to find a meal. We were human, we We're just dressed as maids to be uh, here, sexy right? for your tutorial. Yeah. Anyway. yeah. If you're so serious, 2B, you know that? Alert. Multiple machine life forms detected above our position. Yeah. Yeah, I hear this point. Who the heck is the Forest King? Yeah, the Forest King. Well, what do you expect? I'm a scanner. Combat was annual... never meant to be my forte. Yes. He is a baby. I don't know why. They too feel the need to kill a baby. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe. We don't know literally anything about her, really. <laughs> Except, uh, yeah, she's a rogue she your, your a unit. Yeah. Maybe she's a, ex a rogue execution wow. class. That would make sense. Did she decide Might. to be sick of being an execution class? And she just went and did her own executions on babies. Yeah, exactly. Baby was behind it all. He was the one who ordered the execution. <laughs> it's going to explode. Huh? Hey, where am I? Um, what's that? Hey there, guys. What's up? This thing's weird, Toopy. Let's kill it. Wait, what? No, good idea. No! Okay, there he goes. There he okay, goes. Was and that? he opens the gate for. Yes, that was plot relevant. No. Now we yes, can get into the forest kingdom. Incredible rolling powers. Prowess even. Looks like the forest is just ahead. It's a cool mall. You come out of the mall and you're in this beautiful forest with cliffs and shit. Forest. Just, <laughs> it probably wasn't a forest back when it was a mall. I mean, I can't imagine like what else would be here. Just cliffs. It's like I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Really. I guess none of this does. It's fun. None of these biomes. It's all uh, it's compressed for the sake here of gameplay. Come. Better keep your guard up. I'm aware of how to fight. You Dark Souls 2 players would be. Uh, oh my god. Ah. Oh, okay. There we go. 256 years ago. Is it a near Gestalt slash replicant, I guess? No, just the history of the forest. Yeah, Either one.
Maybe he turns into a baby. Well, we'll you know, we'll see. This is just the beginning of the story. Taking back to like, don't fuck me, I'm scared. Yeah, it was about to say the same thing. <laughs> the neighborhood uh, thing, yeah. And the, and the family thing, yeah, yeah. These machines, they were talking about a king, right? You're not a real family unless you have a land behind. <laughs> Maybe we should take a look. We need the uh, waterfall picture for our picture quest. This place looks familiar. Oh, right. It's from that woman's photograph. I'll be sure to get her the coordinates. Alright. Done. I think we have any noteworthy games since last time we streamed? Yes. Um, I used my opportunity to play my Steam Deck my parents house to play some some games uh, in my backlog so I, I i started and finished uh untitled goose game it's fun very fun uh, charming cute little game uh you, you play uh, for anyone not aware you play as a mischievous goose who is uh fucking with the residents of a, a small british uh neighborhood if we're raking the lake rake in the lake yes you can uh lock the gardener out of his garden uh, you can be a little malicious and uh and uh cause a young boy to trip and fall and lose his glasses wow. um he has he has a fear of geese so it's very easy to chase him um but yeah in the end you just complete your objectives it's like a cute little it's like a little puzzle game right to figure out how to i mean rake in the lake you know that's easy you put a rake in the lake but some of them are like uh, and that'll know. keep like taking it back from you though if you just try to grab it and pull it I right think. so you have to well you, you have to like sneak out with it or distract mm -hmm. him yeah and then like the objectives get a little more complex where you have to figure out like how people will react to certain things you do and and how to get around them or or manipulate them um so yeah uh, you know not very difficult uh, but but fun and I like that a lot. There's quite a few uh, functions in the game that are just dedicated to being more goose-like. Um, so, like, you can flap your wings, which has no function at all, but there's a dedicated button for it. Um, and the goose, the goose uh, animations are very, uh, you know, well done. So, it really gives you the, f makes you feel like an uh, uh, English a gray goose. goose. Yes. Not a Canadian goose, because Canadian goose, I think, I think they're more malicious. That would be a bit more of an adult-themed so game. A king, um, but, how can a concept but a grey goose, you know, they're more mischievous. So that was fun. Very short game, and then I decided to... Uh, it's been a while since I've played it. Oh, more history. Okay, let's watch this. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, notice all the years are... Uh, are um, um, Exponents of two, you know, classic bit bits. Oh, so yeah, 256, 128. Half as many years. Eight, missions. The present is that in the present. Mm -hmm. Game has died. There he is. He's all rusted and shit. So he's gonna need a successor. Sure is sure is sad. Sure is, yeah. I like their armor, they just painted, like, scale mail <laughs> on them. Makes sense, yeah. Makes sense, smart. All right. Okay. The history of the Forest Kingdom. Although maybe we'll see 64 years ago next. I was gonna say, yeah. Uh... Sure. Do not run for me. I have the sachet. 
So the baby is 128 years old or so. Or older. I mean, the baby could have been a different baby before they implanted the king into it, so. Possibly, yes. What is going on? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about these guys. Now I feel slightly more bad when killing them. Do you have right, that's the point. Yeah, they're just, you know, well, even without that backstory, we now know they're just protecting a little baby. But we also know that their True. protection is pointless because A2 kills them. Like, we're not actually here to kill them, we're just here to check them out. So, that's true. If they had focused less on us and more on A2, maybe this wouldn't have been, uh, wouldn't have gone so badly. Oh, I forgot to get health items. Well, and there I go. <laughs> you got stomped. I got stomped. Not because I ran out of health, because I didn't heal in time, but I did not I did notice that I am low. But, well, hopefully we'll be okay. But, um, so the other game I started playing, or not started, but continued playing, it's been a while, is, is uh, South Park, uh, The Stick of Truth. Um, okay. Which is not a very long game either, but I kind of stopped playing, I think, about two-thirds of the way through, about halfway through, probably. So I think I'm, I'm in, in the third act, done most of the side quests, and just kind of finishing up the main story. Have you gone after uh, Craig yet? Yeah, yeah, so Craig has revealed himself and we've united the humans and elves. Um, yeah, and so I, it's I got... basically when you're in the third act of the game. Yeah, game, then, yeah. I mean, it's literally the third day. But I, I, you know, I, the underpants gnomes showed up and... Um, oh yeah, that's a blast. Classic. So finish that up. It's a fun game, I mean... Uh, one complaint I have about it is it, it is locked to 30 FPS, uh, oh, which no. looks bad, and it hurts my eyes. Yeah, but uh, and it also results in screen tearing because my monitor doesn't run at that uh, frame rate. But you know, and, and the game has no option for VSync, so oh, you no. know these are these are very PC gamer complaints. But uh, still, the fucking South Park art style really needs 60 FPS in VSync. It, I don't care what the FPS it is. I just need it. I mean, there's no. I ran that game uh, with full like thermal throttling on my Steam Deck. Like it uses like no resources, very optimized. I don't know why they can't run it at whatever the fuck frame rate my monitor has. It doesn't tear because the tearing looks really bad. I don't care about the FPS. It, you're right. Like it could run it. it you know, it's it's South Park. It can look. You know, it's it's fucking. You know, it, the South Park style. That's fine. Most movies but the screen are like tearing looks very FPS bad. Or something like yeah, exactly. That, exactly. It, it looks just fine, except for the screen tearing, but whatever, not, not a huge deal. The game's fun, I mean, pretty simple. Um, so gamers always complaining about FPS, I, I think it's just kind of dumb. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, people like to pretend it makes them better to play at higher FPS, but that's only like for pros. Um, and, uh, you can definitely tell a difference. Like when I play, I used to be okay at 30 FPS. But now, having like been used to 144, I mean, it does look like objectively worse. Like it looks choppy. You can get used to it, but you know, I do prefer the higher FPS. It's not a deal breaker. But like 60s. I don't think it okay. applies in two new games at all, but with 3D models, maybe. Like we're running at well, I guess no way on stream can tell because it only runs at 60. I'm playing at 144, and it looks nice. But not the end of the world. If it was running at 30, though, that would look to me that would look. I, I would be able to tell. Um, so not not a huge deal, but I do prefer the higher frame rates. People do get like I. My dad was talking about. He runs like a you know student labs for a university, and he uh, sometimes he'll get complaints about like uh, it's like are, how can we tell this monitor is running at uh, actual 5K resolution? But the only way you can tell is by looking at the settings, and it's like, if you can't tell, like, why do you give a shit? <laughs> <No>. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, it sounds like it looks good if you can't tell if it's 4K or fucking 5K, but okay, I guess you have to know. Um, the techno consumerism bullshit. Matching. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, but like, you know, when you can tell, then I understand, you know, you can get used to 30 FPS, but it, you know, it looks worse. I get it. I wouldn't take points off of my review of a game for that. 
The only thing I would take points off is, is for games where the fucking frame rate is tied to the physics, which I get why they do that, but... That's usually pretty bad, yeah. Like, Dark Souls had that problem with durability being tied to frame rate. Uh, recently, I played Yakuza 2, where the physics engine is tied to the frame rate, and if you don't lock the game at 30 FPS, which I did not do, uh, the physics are fucking insane, and like everyone like ragdolls like crazy, and it's actually really funny, yeah. which kind of fits the game, but it, it's not intended. You just have to yeah. lock it or whatever it's, it's like designed for. Right? Yeah, yeah if, you, if you really care. I played it at 144, and just every time I kicked an enemy, he would fly into the sky and fly into the sun, and it was funny. It was fine. I didn't care. But some people were like, uh, Kiryu is too tough to be kicked around this way. It really ruins my immersion. So, yeah. Lock your frame so rate. Lock your yeah. frame rate, man. <laughs> yeah. I think Skyrim actually uses that as a, like, part of, like, speedrun strats. Uh, some Apparently kind of Resident Evil 2 is like that with the knife damage, the remake damage. Oh, yeah. That's right, so you set it to the lowest settings because knife damage uh, does m is more damage at, at the higher frame rates. That's really mm -hmm. funny. How would you feel about that? I was kind of thinking about playing uh, the RE2 remake on stream. Any, I have any... no objection to that. Okay, I would not have any objection. Um, that'd, be, that'd be fun. We, we, don't, we haven't really done any like horror games. And I don't Except know. Except for Veronica and Silent Hill 2 and Clock Tower. Yeah, but those aren't scary because they're old. Oh, okay, yeah, that's No, true. I, I mean, I just, yeah, like... Um... I don't know. It's like... Like, a solid survival for... Not that those aren't, but... Uh, I, I, I think I found the RE2 remake to be, like, more challenging than any of those others. Oh, the Kuronika was pretty, pretty tough. What about Alien Isolation? Ooh, that is on my list. Yeah, that would probably be my first choice, just to show off how much I... So I can gush about how much I love Alien. Fucking fuck aliens, dude. The movie sucks. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. It's really good. <laughs> but I do, I do personally prefer Alien. I the first two were really good, and then after that, it kind of goes to shit. Basically, yeah. And then Alien. Wait, what? Well, you know, you haven't watched any of them after this. Like, after I'm just saying, it's my understanding. Have you? Wait, which one have you watched? First All four. Oh, four. Okay, nice. All right. All right. Have you watched Alien, Alien vs. Predator? No, I haven't seen that. <laughs> that movie's like dog shit, but it's it's fun if you're like in the mood for that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, More interested to see Sadako vs. Kayako vs. Oh yeah, oh definitely. We also need to finish uh, Pulse. Yeah, that'd be. That's on the list of yeah. plans. I asked my friend if he was free like three weekends ago, and then and he was like, yeah, and then I just like didn't respond. Yeah, I ended up sense. not being, yeah. Free. So I'll reach out to him again. So we could have done it then. Actually, I wasn't even not free. I think I just didn't feel like it. So there really is no, no reason we didn't watch it a while ago. That's fine. It's not. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> that's all. Yeah, we'll do that and then we'll do a, we'll do a Seneca versus Kayako. Uh, That'd be a good way to finish it. That'd be a fun way to finish Maybe we'll make it into a drinking game, which I think is what the movie deserves. It would be suitable for that. Um, Scream is a good thinking game movie. I like Scream. I've never seen Scream, but I'm not opposed to seeing it. I like Scream. Scream is like, you know, it's like a classic mediocre slasher film, but it's also a satire of slasher films, which elevates yes, it it's above its peers. Meta. Yes, it is very meta. All of them were better. Even the new one. I watched the new, uh, the 2022 Scream. Yeah, that was a satire of reboots, right? Yeah, it, like, it wasn't good. And, like, it, but it was, like, f it was fun and self-aware enough that I, I, I respected it for what it was. I remember, like, I watched, like, uh, YMS reviewing the trailer for the new Scream, and he was just, like, shitting on it, which is fair, but it's just, like... He was reviewing a trailer. Oh, he reviews trailers all the time. Yeah, that's like a big thing he does. I guess I just, I'm subscribed to him and I see all of his clips in my algorithm. <laughs> but, oh, okay, here we go. One more. Four hours ago, this one. Mm -hmm. Four still works. It's too square to focus. 
Like 128 years as to the reflection they make. Mm-hmm. You know, they could like modify him. They could. They they definitely can if they want to. But they're too dumb to figure it out. They said they did say that. He does still deserve protection. Yeah. Right. Can't let anyone into the forest kingdom. Kingdom has stagnated. Oh shit. Is that us? We haven't been here for four hours. But I guess it is us. Could be A2. Time flies. Well, they said they, but maybe they're just uh, not trying not to misgender A2. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That sounds more reasonable. Yes, that sounds entirely accurate. Um, what was I saying? I, no, I can't remember. Talking about screen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he does review trailers. He was like shitty on the new screen trailer, which is like fine. You know, it doesn't look particularly impressive. But a lot of things he was saying seems like he's entirely unaware of the fact that it's satirical, which again, it doesn't have to be a free pass, but I feel like you should be aware of that before being like, that's so stupid when it's like meant to be, you know, at least acknowledge that it's meant to be. And then you can be like, I don't care if it's meant to be, it's still dumb. It's like, all right, I think fine. he is somewhat caught up in like, his audience wants him to shit on things. So he may mainly looks for ways to shit on everything. They, yeah, but even they get annoyed with him. I, he, uh, recently had a bit of a fiasco where every single stream he would bitch about um, the uh, trailers not being uploaded in 4k and like people would complain and now every single clip he complains about people complaining about him complaining about the 4k thing that he was like funny. I'm not gonna bring up the 4k thing because apparently you guys you know get really worked up about that and he's then he bitches about that <laughs> instead which is like more annoying <laughs> I just think it's really funny. It's fair, you know, 2023, just fucking put it in 4K. It's not hard. If you're like WB, you know, there's no excuse, but you don't have to bring it up every time. Yeah, uh, whatever. Who, who really cares? Well, Adam. But that's also the response of his audience. Like, who really cares? <laughs> I mean, if it's the bad fan, you're showing off the darks. You have to show off the, the darks, yeah. In 1080p, but not to get enough fights for sure. No, no. But for most movies, it's fine. Oh. What a guy. That was definitely a movie. Did you ever see it? No. I have no interest whatsoever in seeing it. It's a good movie to watch on a plane, but yes, uh... I heard had a good trouble with Ave Maria. Oh, it did. It sounded, it sounded like a rendition of Ave Maria. <laughs> it all sound the same. It's all just... <laughs> I just went out an Ave Maria concert. I like the one from, from Hitman Blood Batman. Money, and other than that, you know, I don't give a shit. Batman fans know their Ave Maria way better than you. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what it is, I think. Uh, they're all fans of, of Marie. Yeah, look to, to Ave here. Apparently. Oh shit, I just put it back. Wait, so can I just kill him all the way to his body grade so A2 can then kill him? And we don't I, think I, I, I think I'm, I just keep moving. I was like, do, do they infinitely like, respawn? I can't tell. But yeah, that's right. We're really just giving A2 more of a chance here. Speaking of, oh yeah, that's right. I better not lose because this cutscene is unskippable. <laughs> Devs did work hard on it after all. She does the Sephiroth impale on the baby. That's right. It's not, uh,. The camera angles don't give it nearly as much no, dramatic no, gravitas. Yokotaro really should have just uh, done an homage to FF7 and done the full camera angle. Yeah. Full descent. I need Maybe a, you it know like what? slumps over in the materia and drops it from its <laughs> Yeah. yeah right. Its head falls off. You know, something relevant to this guy. Oh, yeah. This unit is currently wanted by Yorha. Annihilation recommended. Annihilation? 
but why? Let's go, Nine S. To be. <laughs> Listen to your pod. Bunker to two B and Nine S. We picked up a signal oh, yeah. from the uh, black box of a fugitive known as A two. The answer I think is yes. Yeah. Okay. She's not too it's hard. Not as hard. Just gotta be animals. careful. Yeah, not to touch the uh, orange bits. Be able to get around to fuck her right into a wall. Alright. Oh. Oh, I'm timed. Fuck. Uh, there's no way. Alright, well, that wasn't too bad, but what I did fuck up. Front of you is your enemy. Right. Looks easier. I like these. They're, they're not very hard. Ah, fuck. What? There's waves. No. We'll just fight. Oh, she deserted us. She's destroyed multiple pursuit androids. Now kill her before oh. she kills you. Yeah, we A two gets no backstory. I don't think in in this uh, part of the game. Yeah. She's a uh, so big mystery. Very mysterious. Yes. Mysterious, but sexually alluring. <laughs> yes. The best kind of mysterious. Uh, let's do one more hack and see if it's, uh, see if I can not see fuck up. a oh, sick backstory. Well, that, I think, I don't think that the backstory is tied to the hacks. No. Unless it's, like, scripted, but I already fucking got hit. These things shoot the homing little guys. Uh, I can shoot no, them. No, they get some... Um, snippets of backstory with each uh, hack. Yeah, well, but I think it, hacks, it, but... yeah, I don't think the the hacks were uh, a a hard prerequisite to getting those. That was just running into a wall. Right. I failed as a scout. I'm too ashamed to hack again. Yeah, your hacking skills could use some more. It's hard. It's a hard thing to game. Not a big arcade gamer fucking playing Galaga and shit back in the day. No, they it's really know. blocked to 30 FPS. <laughs> I don't think, I don't even know, was it Galaga? No, was it even, I don't, I, I highly doubt 30 it. 30 <laughs> yes, yeah. I highly doubt it, no. Command is the one that betrayed you. Even like Earthbound is like 4 FPS or something. <laughs> yeah, you don't need any more than that for Let's games like that. The walking animation is 2 frames, so if you had it at 30 FPS it would look ridiculous. Oh yeah, I remember I used to, I played this like old like tank game and I, I had a laptop from like 1995 but the game was like from the 80s and my processor was too fast and the, the frame rate was just tied to the processor so you just like zooming around the map like impossible yeah. to play. <laughs> yeah. I think Sierra games is the fastest setting which is whatever your computer could handle so now they're completely unplayable. Yeah. The paradox is just like when things go faster is Sierra games have like time sensitive puzzles that would just be speeding. And they're, yeah. they're from like the nineties at, at earliest, so you're on a modern computer. Right. You can't play on that. Commander, why do they two desert the force? I'm afraid that's classified. Oh? Huh. To be? Yeah. Let's go ask Pascal about A2. He might know something. Alright. There's the baby, I think. Yeah, I think so, yes. For even amidst the rising flames of war, they were always together. They never understood why. And yet they spent their lives nestled together. Forever. Forever and ever. Hmm. That was the forest kingdom. We have decimated it. Oh, you survived. Yeah. How wonderful. Yeah, we're fine. But there's something we want to ask you about. Of course. Anything. Actually, it needs to be in person. Does it? Why? Understood. Okay. I'll open the gate we built to deter enemy invaders. You'll be able to reach the village through there. 
I don't need any gate. Yeah, this really, this is a big security issue that any android could just warp into their village like this. I guess so, but I mean, your hunt knows what we're doing, and they're they're more like just investigate Pascal. So you know, they're not hostile yet, but yes, that's true. If they were hostile, that would be a problem. Uh, okay, we did adequately clean up all the side quests here. So Hello, Pascal. To wish to speak with me personally. Whatever is the matter? It'll be faster well, if I'm you just stuck. take a look at this recording. Transfer data. I see. Information Once you press the don't transfer it, it's just kind of like tell you to come back later. Yeah, it's just a... Yeah, it's but thou must. You, you can't... It's not choice. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to progress the quest right now. Yeah. I see. Alright, thanks. Pathetic. Let's stay sharp and head back to the resistance. Camp. Not very much information. We run a check on our consciousness data and resupply. Yes, ma'am. Yes, mommy. Yes, mommy. That's right. I think he's too easy, mommy. Uh, yeah, I think so. She's very kind of a bit stern, a bit authoritarian. Uh, but also caring. That's true, that does help And, and she'll do mommy. anything to protect 9S, you know, as we've seen, she, so... I think she becomes a little bit less of a mommy as her Pascal character arc progresses, though. She becomes it's less stern. Yeah, true. But she also becomes more, uh, more protect, uh, protective of 9S. Which is, which is also a mommy characteristic, so... The mommy gradient actually remains static, although these specific characteristics, uh, change. I think you're confused being a mother and being a mommy too much. Oh, all right, all right, fine. You're right. Yeah, fair enough. Operator two one. Okay. All right. I interrupted the operator. Yeah. Okay, she has a bit more of a mommy body type than yeah. to be. The commander is definitely a mommy. Our android forces currently have a carrier deployed. It should be back here to reach. <laughs> she step on you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> The resistance is assisting with she wouldn't mission. even enjoy it that much, it's just like her duty. The more somebody would so step like on you, the more of a mommy they are, and that's part of the <laughs> That's fair. Situation. Well, Nami's not a mommy at all, she has no feet. Seriously? Well, there are other ways to become a mommy, but... Uh, oh, that's <laughs> just a criteria. That's a, an easy criteria. It's one of the oh. easy ones, oh. yeah. Oh, okay. Mommy, right. nevertheless, right. remains a mommy, despite her lack of okay, She's such a mommy that she transcended her fish fishhood to be get milkers after all. <laughs> True, yes. <laughs> Although I mean I mean that's that's it's an evolutionary trait just for different reasons, right? Mermaids have milkers not to produce milk but to lure in uh, sailors. It's a it's a predatory uh, trait. So it still fits. Although Nami isn't very predatory herself, so mm. No, she's Not just such a mommy that she has to have milk grace. Yeah, that's fair. It's different, different reasons. Don't they? It's like they see us as a couple of gophers or something. No complaining about your work. Exchanging information with the resistance is a vital part Sorry. of our mission. What, what about a gopher indicates uh, in all the time. being Not sent on errands? Is that a maybe gopher it's, uh, stereotype? Maybe it's some kind of expression. It's a, yeah, it's a your hot classic your hot expression. <laughs> Uh, yeah, your highism as we call them. Yeah, you highism. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like that. That's good. All right, well, I think we we uh, actually never did the angles. We can talk to. It. We didn't do angles. It takes forty-seven no, minutes. That's a reference to Hitman. We were talking about uh, comparisons between Evangelion and this. Mm -hmm. The one I realized is that Nerve and your high remind me a little bit of each other. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Mysterious organizations for protecting humanity that have a lofty but weird catchphrase. Although Nerves is significantly more lofty than what was Nerves? Uh, God's in his heaven, all's right with the world. Uh, okay, I, I remember that quote, but I don't. I didn't. I didn't uh, remember that being like specifically a uh, Nerve thing. But you're right, it is. Yeah, it's on the logo. And then now, uh, your house is just for the glory of mankind. That's right. We have to do the the chest thing. For the glory, man. Co yes. Cover up your keyhole. Go for according to Lord Urban Dictionary means a low-ranking employee who is made to do the bidding of their superiors, so-called because they are often running around doing various small tasks. Yeah, I guess that's what gophers do. 
Go first. This one predates the World Wide Web for organizing and displaying files on internet servers. A Gopher yeah. server presents its, its contents hierarchically structured list of files. The assignments of the web, many Gopher databases are converted to websites, which are more easily accessed by web search engines. Gopher was developed at the University of Minnesota and named after the school's mascots. The system of Anakai and Jughead lets us search global indices of resources squared in Gopher systems. Gather as much data as you can. No matter how irrelevant it may seem. Um, so we, we can't talk to Angles yet, um, but we did get some info about him being a factory, and we need more parts to get the rest of the data. So we'll, we'll uh, fix up a little more. Quest. Well, that was explicitly part one, so yeah, we kind of knew we'd have to yeah, <laughs> do more. So clear these guys out and see if I can. I might even have the parts already. Let's try the operator. Uh, no, okay, got it. Oh, we have to call the operator. Nine S to operator. We're trying to track down a large gear. Any idea where to start the search? Why are you looking for... Well, anyway, you can salvage the requested material from smaller machine life forms. Finding one intact might prove tricky, however. The part is easily damaged when the machine housing it is destroyed. It's a gear. It's Thanks, a operator. fucking metal That's chunk of know. metal. Whatever. Right. Fine. Let's go take out some small fry. <laughs> Straight to the point, as always, 2B. What are up for? They have no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right, Tubi. All right, let's. Um... He's just like trying really hard to make her like him. Yeah, he's. I don't. Like... When people try too hard, you know, it really puts me off. Uh -huh. There's someone on our server who kind of has that problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> what works with when I nest as a Tubi, apparently. Well, she's yeah. Upset when he gets killed at the end, or, or when he gets sick at the end. Maybe she likes him despite him trying too hard, not because of the. Maybe. If you spend a lot of time with someone and work with them a lot, you tend to, you know, develop an opinion of them. Sometimes you hate them, but sometimes you kind of, you know, you come around. Um, I do recall that uh, the operator asked us to find a uh, terminal or something in the factory. We'll try to do that and then oops I fell off and maybe we'll we gotta wrap up soon I gotta or I'd like to stop soon but not a hard stop yeah. yet so let's let's aim to finish this but um yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably to close it out for your for your ankle. that'd be my preference but that's, I think that's a good thing to aim for yeah yeah and then next next stream we will uh, very very likely finish up uh, 9s's story and maybe even even some ways yeah, we have to do a lot of side quests to not finish it, I think. Yeah, and I don't, I don't really think that I want to do that. I do want to do this one because it's really two angles and uh, and start. To... Yeah, I want to do true. Those are good ones. Angles, the operator, and we can finish the photo one because we're two thirds yeah, the way there. Yeah, the photo. Um, let's see if there's anything else that stands out to me. I might even look up uh, best side quest, make sure we're not missing any. Yeah, but I don't think. And again, we can always come back, and if I want to show off to the viewers after we beat the whole game, uh, we can come back and do them. Let be clear on where I'm going here. I think this is data analysis freak. Garbage players. Yeah, so deeper to the factory. All right, so we'll just go deeper to the factory and hope we end up in the right area. The well visited area for us. It is okay. uh, at least two visits, but more if you're doing side quests. Remember last stream we complained about the lava texture quality? Like a giant I was gonna mention earlier, I, I might even look for an HD texture uh, pack because uh, I'm noticing a lot of a lot of blurry textures that, uh, you know, we don't have to put up with that on TNP, okay? We're, uh, we're, we're pro streamers, we can have high res textures. But, uh, you know, this is an analytical stream, so analyzing which textures aren't very good in the original game has some merit. Well, and now we've noted that, and uh, we can move on. But, you know, there might be hitters <laughs> New unseen lackluster textures yet to get to come. Well, I don't. We haven't seen anything in this game. Well, that's not true. Aside from characters, we've not seen any any environments that we we uh, any new environments. Also, that's not true actually. Fuck. All right. I can delete those textures <laughs> if it's important, <laughs> which I it's not. Uh, spoilers. It's not important for us to maintain blurry textures. Manually go in and delete all the textures we haven't seen yet. So that 
<laughs> we can show them off in their original form for and criticism. And complain about them briefly, yes. Okay, I think here that's we go. Exactly it's back at the start. To be honest. You know what? You're completely. You've never been more right. <laughs> you gotta go the wrong way. <laughs> you can put that mod on your own new modified mod on the Steam Workshop. Hell yeah. No, there's no Steam Workshop support practice. for this game. Oh, what a shame. It's a Japanese PC port. They don't integrate. In Final Fantasy VII, I ran all those mods. That was a separate mod manager called uh, Seventh Heaven. Yeah. I named after the bar, of course. It's a very necessary mod that sl slightly updates the models. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to show off, you know, the community <laughs> effort to, uh, you know, putting put in some love into the game. I do think it's... Into this decrepit old game that you made me play. You can do what you want, but I personally do not give a rat's ass about the low quality of lava texture, I'll say that. Yeah, it's not a huge deal. It, 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 you know, it bothered me a little bit. I have a PC that can run uh, high-res textures. The game looks good overall. Well, that's the thing is like, you know, it's just uh, compressing the textures is just an e quick, uh, quick and dirty way to, you know, reduce the amount of VRAM you're using. And um, I don't need that. And so, you know, the it actually reduces the artistic quality because the art, the original art is of higher quality and then they have to compress it further. So if you want to really analyze the real work well, that went into this game. Such um, such compression was part of the artistic intent. Of the game I'm, as I whole. think I'm uh, comfortably going to guarantee that it wasn't. Well, not by Yoko Taro personally, but by the compression officer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> the uh, the uh, yeah the the compression lieutenant lieutenant. How do I get to the compression life? best boy as we sometimes call him? Yeah. Russian engineer. Precious Imagineer. Uh, that's what Steve Jobs was, I think. Yeah. Ooh. Was he the one who like invented the planned obsolescence scheme? Was that more of a Bill Gates thing? Uh, I don't know. I I think a, I think that legitimately like a lot of the don't tell me I can't uh, a lot of the like shittier things that Apple uh, does or post Steve Jobs, like Steve Jobs legitimately did a, did a decent job of putting out quality products. Still overpriced, but all this shit like removing the headphone jacks and shit, like Steve Jobs would, I think, never have stood for that. But, um, you know, not that I, I you know, I, I, I had a couple friends in college that would kind of suck his dick and I'd make fun of him, so I don't, I don't want to do that, but um, he was, uh, he was a, you know, still find smart that guy. dude BS to be sucking a businessman's dick because the decisions are all made based on what produces the most cash. Um... Most of the time. I think that, I mean, I think that my understanding, my, my poor understanding of Steve Jobs' mentality is, is that he was good at knowing what would make cash, but he also, you know, cared about providing a good product and knew that providing a good product would, would generate cash. So like the that's why I think that the the cheap like easy money practices like planned obsolescence are are not his thing. But the I idea might be wrong. the planned obsolescence scheme goes back a lot further than Steve Jobs. Oh yeah, there. yeah. But it is kind of a sta an Apple staple in in some ways. Um, Bill Gates did. A, I mean, Bill Gates got fucking like he he dropped out of call. Everyone's like, oh, he dropped out of college and, uh, and, you know, became successful, so I can do that too. It's like, no, his mom was fucking, like, a high up, higher up in a company, so in, like, a pretty, pretty well-known company in the tech space, so she convinced IBM to give his, like, no-name company Microsoft a chance, and then he fulfilled that opportunity by stealing fucking everything from, uh, Unix. So, like, yeah, Microsoft is successful, like, that's, a. Uh, you know, they've done a good job, but they got the opportunity to be successful by being lying, cheating, stealing, uh... So in your opinion, Bill Gates is kind of the Thomas Edison to, uh, Steve Jobs? I think that he got, he got a leg up by being a Thomas Edison and then used that leg up 
to legitimately show off his talents. Like, I don't think he's untalented, but uh, he did definitely get to his initial position in, in a very unfair way. Sure. It always helps when your parents has massive amounts of wealth and connections. Yes. And Microsoft, I mean, they have a pretty, I think they have a pretty good reputation now among a lot of people, but they've worked very hard to, because in the 90s, they were, they were like, everyone was like, yeah, they're, they're thieving bastards, like in the programming space, and everyone's like, yeah. oh yeah, Microsoft, they're kind of, why can't, oh, I, okay, they're, uh, they're like, yeah, they're actually kind of cool, um, so, I think like Steve Jobs uh, never, never, as far as I'm aware, never stole for people, but he did kind of like Martin, Martin Luther King Jr. who played Jurassic Park. Yeah, his yeah, thesis. yeah, and cheer on his wife. Uh, but um, Steve Jobs, I don't know. I remember getting into an argument with a friend. Well, actually, this is irrelevant. Uh, but Steve Jobs, I think, you know, he like fucked over his. He didn't give credit to his programmers because he didn't want to give credit to people that wouldn't, uh, you know, it would, it would uh, tarnish the image of the product or something. Uh, so definitely very, very uh, exclusively business minded. Not like a, you know, uh, not respectful of the people that worked on, on his stuff, but not purely uh, profit driven either. Like there was definitely creativity behind it, I guess was, was my earlier point. Um, now I, I told my friend, I was like, it's fucking, I was like, I think he's a fucking idiot because he didn't get cancer treatment and instead like soaked his feet in toilet water or whatever homeopathic shit. Oh yeah, shit. I forgot about that. And then I was like, and then my friend is like, well, if, you know, it's someone's, choice if they want to get treatment or not and i guess that's fair but he had a family and i think if you have a family you kind of have some obligation to survive and not be a dumbass uh, so i think he kind of like fucked over didn't he daughter. just take the holistic treatments because he thought they would be more effective than yeah so he's still an idiot and... but like as you can you can choose to be an idiot that's fair but i think when you're fucking over other people like i guess he also wasn't like present for his daughter anyway so i guess she probably didn't notice his absence he just left her time especially <laughs> So maybe, yeah, whatever, but but I think that that is a difference. All right, I, well, I can't find how to get here. So, and we're we're at eight. Well, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna rush to an end here, but maybe we'll uh, wrap up this conversation. I feel like I'm just floundering here, trying to find how to get to that it. fucking, uh, I think we covered Google Steve it. Jobs. Yeah, that's Steve Jobs. Well, we know X-Death doesn't, well, we don't know because the, the stream is gone, but X-Death doesn't respect businessmen. No. The cornerstone of America. Not as much as artists. No, no. I suppose I don't either. I like of course art more than because, business. Um, but I venerate neither. Partially because I, uh, I'm very insecure and have not much going for me, so the only thing I can really hold to is my appreciation of art. Not even my own artistic talents, but just my appreciation of art. So it's fair. You have some artistic in. talent. You're a good writer, I think. Uh, but you just, you just don't have a lot of opportunity to of, um, uh, explore that. Like, writing is the one skill I've kind of cultivated over the years a little bit, but not nearly as much as one could have. You draw? I've tried it once or twice, but I'm quite bad. Well, most people are bad starting out. But, yes. Uh, I no problem like, with any other kind of technical skill is that I get very discouraged when starting out and then never continue. That's fair. So my troubles in life. The troubles, yes. Like like in Ireland. In Russia. Russia had a ton of troubles. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. A lot of countries did. Some some countries just are still troubled. Like Russia? Yes, still Russian. Uh, maybe it's something I have to come back to later. I well, I was hoping that wouldn't be a waste of time, but it kind of was. I'm just gonna get to the next safe point. We'll find the thing. Call it. So yeah. I, mean, I know where it is, but I can't lower that bridge. Uh, I think it has to be lowered from the other side, and I have no idea of how to get there. But I can easily look it up, like I do for a lot of things. For next time. For next time. Yep. Yep. Um. So I'll find a safe point, and then we'll probably wrap up, but, um... It sounds reasonable. Then, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. We can aim for, uh, for, you know, one of the... A, a late stream this weekend, and then I'll let you know if uh, another more opportune time pops up. That seems reasonable. Either Friday or Saturday is right. really good for a late stream for Not me. Sunday, of course. No. We gotta get up to the next morning. Yes. Being awake is the worst part of waking up. Going to work is the worst part for me. 
I don't mind being awake if I don't have to go to work. I never minded the going to work, I just never liked being there. For me, the going is probably the worst part. Oh, really? Okay. Pretty bad, too, yeah. yeah. Especially these days when it's very cold, and I have to walk like half an hour down to the bus. Uh, well, it won't be cold for long, but yeah, the winter can be harsh. It is, it is warming up, taking its time, but uh, I also hate the cold. Um, I mean, like, you know, going to my car out in the garage is like, fuck, it takes like five seconds, but way too cold. So 30 minutes, I, uh, yeah. It snowed really badly today, and so I had to wait in front of the windy and snowy place, uh, like outside, to get the bus to come. Or for like 15 minutes or something. Yeah. Well, at least you don't have to sprint everywhere like 9S here. I don't have to repeatedly do the dash move every second. Yeah, although it's kind of cool you could dash like that, like glide. That, that looks fun, to be honest. But, all right. Well, I saved, so we'll uh, we'll we'll wrap it up here. I got a little, got another got plans tonight, um, so we'll do we'll do a little bit of an early end today. But we will be back uh, probably this weekend, but maybe earlier with uh, redo of, of our last Final Fantasy. Fuck! I did it again. Fire Emblem Four, uh, not Final Fantasy. Fire Emblem Four episode. Um, and we will uh, then come back with with you know Tomata after where we will uh, almost certainly wrap up 9s's playthrough and then get into two uh, or a2 uh, with 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 everyone's favorite favorite part of the game so um, that'll be that thanks everyone for for watching this is a cakewalk we'll, uh, we'll see you around this is a cakewalk walking on the cake